that here welcome to skull and bones it says a ubisoft original get a taste of the full experience for a limited time we have it says eight hours of a demo we can try and then it says um if at the end of that time we decide to move further in the game you'll be able to keep the progress there on the bottom right and purchase the game so we'll see how this shakes out i'm a little a little sad about my sea of thieves the cursed stream wasn't really prepared for that but i've been pretty excited just to play something piratey we haven't really done anything piratey in kind of a long time here on the channel seems like a good time so we are here we played on the channel a lot of ubisoft games to their completion start to finish i see no reason that we won't make our way through skull and bones i don't really know a whole lot about this other than we get the sale of pirate ship which uh, that's good enough for me and we'll see how it goes from there we will make a playlist that will have all the episodes so if you're looking forward to seeing more skull and bones or, or how things develop gonna be the absolute best way to watch that we're deliberately keeping in this early bit a lot of the times we we punch our way through some of the tutorials before we start the streams but i i think this is one of those that it's gonna be worthwhile having the tutorial in it just to be able to look back on that moment Sometimes you forget where things started or where they came from. And we also kind of want to point a comparison as we touch other pirate games to completion. Just to just to have a point of reference, right? Is um I think I think that's valuable. At least it is for me. And um it's my channel. So just how it goes sometimes. Listen, do me a favor. If you like this video, click like. YouTube channel members to support what I do, and away we go. After I come into the settings and, and go over to audio and make sure we've We've turned off the music because I can't really afford to have more copyright issues, which which is a real bummer. All that being said, sometimes in cutscenes, they don't have the dialogue separate from the audio music. It's just one thing. So I've not done any testing for this. There's a very high probability when I push play here that there's absolutely no audio. But since it's a timed free trial, I was too scared to like lose any time. <laughs> what if the tutorial takes me eight hours, you know? The dawn of capitalism. The dawn of capitalism. The as nations rule the seas and dominate the world's valuable trade routes. With an iron fist, they forge a path of tyranny and exploitation, igniting a battle for global supremacy. From the Indian Ocean, a flood of exotic goods feed new addictions and fill coffers with coins tainted in blood. And where there is blood, there are predators. The Indian Ocean, which is in East Asia. The 17th century, so 1,800 years. If I'm remembering correctly, the golden age of piracy. Allegedly. You think they're really going to start us out on such a nice boat? I think there's somebody talking, but I, I don't really know what they're saying. Oh, look at this. Oh, we can turn. We can turn. Oh, this is the tutorial. Ooh. So it has a dedicated tutorial. Okay. I mean, making a small study of tutorial missions, and they're not quite all the same. We can look left. We can look right. We can turn the ship. Hold left trigger to aim and push right trigger to fire. Okay. Get wrecked. I think we missed every shot. X the hoist the sails. No problem. Hoisting sails. Okay, let's talk about this. So in the settings, was it visual? Oh, I'm not good at this stuff. I think it was third party or gameplay. Okay. We are going to make the sails not see through for a second. Yeah, the sails are see-through. 
I changed my mind. We're going to put him back to see through. So if we're in combat, we should be able to see through the sails, which we can. Okay, I get it now. I get it. I am not a very good shot. Do we need to defeat all of them? I think I'm in over my head. I can't see anything. I'm panicking. I think we're going to sink here. Like, I feel like we're hitting them, but I don't feel like we do any damage. Out of bounds? Are you kidding me? This is so not good. I've been trying to hit that same spot and see is like red and glowing. Nothing. Oh, we're at a really bad angle here. I bet that matters quite a bit. I have no idea why the ship won't sink. Let's just ram them. They like it. I like, I really wanted some contacts for this. Like, why are we fighting? It's the whole damn British fleet. It's the whole British feet. I guess we just die. This is like not easy to aim. Oh my goodness, our ship is on major fire. Oh. Well. Davy Jones locker for us, huh? Well, it was a nice ship. It's a character creator. Okay. This is the only option we get. Okay. Is 
Do they have names? This guy's pretty piratey. Like you'd get a lot of sun on a ship deck. I don't know about the long hair. Curly hair. And there's maybe a little too short. Guy's a little too handsome to be a pirate. Let's check the ladies. So it looks like we have kind of mid-length hair on this one. The hair is up in a ponytail. See, I don't know if we're gonna get to change hairstyles. Are we locked into this? We're gonna be staring at this hair a lot. Some wild hair. They're kind of tucked up again. I don't know. Maybe it's in a bun. Maybe we'll go with this guy. I, I, again, I feel like these characters are like just a little too, you know, handsome to be pirates. I thought we were pirates, not like models. All right, we clicked this guy. Oh, gosh. In town. We can make him. What are these colors? Body type. It doesn't really show us the body, though. It just shows us because we have to guess. OK, I guess that's a little wider in the face. What do you believe default? OK, we can at least get some scars. You think like the party in life. I think this is just dirty. Is this just dirty? Where is it? Where the, oh, it's going on our hands. I see the hands on the side. We're just going to leave them off. I like I have no idea what these are actually doing. I can't believe this is the character creator. It's like underwater. Or maybe we'll try and pick one. What is this doing? Like, where is this tattoo? Doesn't that look like a tattoo? We're going to leave them as none. We're just a little too handsome my color so we've got brown black oh this is blind in one eye that blind in both eyes maybe this is what we should do it would at least explain why we're such a bad shot we'll go with the soft eyes why not hair can't see it I've got no idea what this actually looks like. I can move the head that much. Is it is it long in the back? Like this could be a mullet or a rat's tail or something for all we know. Oh man, that's probably more realistic, isn't it? Forgot which one it was now. Was it this one? I think there's a bun on top. I'm trying so hard to see the top of this head. Is it just safer to go with short hair? Like I'm worried we're going to get a hat. It's going to clip through. It shouldn't, but we'll just leave it. It's fine. It's fine. Color. Facial hair. Okay, mustache. One of these. I wish these had names or numbers. I know there's like not a lot of choices. But I can't really see through this like fog. This is so terrible. I like I whoever was like this is the way forward, I think they were wrong. Ooh, what did I click? Okay, there it is. Hide UI. Hair, eye color, body cosmetic. Can't believe we can't see where this tattoo is. Think it's on a hand or something? Don't let it go. Body type. So everything's pretty much default, except we changed the hair color and um, the eye color a little. That's it. Are we ready to rule the seas? Nope. 
I'm gonna name this guy Guapo. What the heck? They're not gonna let us name them. That is crazy. Who's the who designed this? Are they slavers? Do we recognize those tattoos? She had like a something with tentacles. I missed it. It was too quick. Hey, really quick. Let's um get the audio turned up, maybe. So dialogue volume is at 100 percent. Maybe we'll turn down the sound effects a little bit. Friend, Freeman's luck must truly be on your side. A little better. The British and the folk beat them. I blame Captain. I I think this is so a little off. I can't believe we don't get to name our dude either. That is such a huge bummer. For steering us into these cursed shallows. <laughs> we survived the battle, and now you arrived to help crew the Dow. I would say our fortunes on the rise, no? There's a certain yearning in your eyes. I've seen the same glint in others before. I'm sure you will steer us true to Saint Anne. To reach Parade Paradise, we must first know the way. Yeah. Why is that guy wearing diaper a pants? We retreat from the wreck. More than ink and parchment, our fates are revealed in layers and often from plain sight. Perhaps this will help you chart your path forward, friend. Make yourself useful. Take the tiller before the. All right, we're gonna have to turn on subtitles. I really do not want to have to have subtitles on. Oh, okay. I really thought it would be an audio. Not text to chat. No. Subtitles is in language. It's a hidden menu. Look at that. This should be pretty easy to read. We'll see if that's better. I'll work the sale. Oh, it didn't work. Favors the fearless. Let us chase it. Among the scattered survivors, one must surely know the way to Saint Anne. So good subtitles aren't like two or three words. Like we should be able to see the full sentence not like a handful of words. This is going to be tough to keep up with. We're going to go back into language, into the hidden subtitle menu, into the subtitle size, and we'll put it down to medium. We'll see if that fixes it. Freeman's luck, guide us. They might say to me, Van, why didn't you do some of this before? I would have loved to, but you only get one save file and there's no way that I know of to delete it or recover it or restart things. I can't do this twice, which is um, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm actually really bummed. We didn't get to name our guy. We don't really know what we look like. And those people were impossible to hear. Uh, but, you know, I'm just old. So, I mean, we got that going for me. What is this? We're now a slave on this dinky little ship. L3. Okay, here. I'm typing. There we go. Hi. Hi, it's me. Pirate Dad. I don't know if anyone can see this. Oh, look at that. It goes right into the world. And it's got apparently one of my usernames. Nice. Ooh, oh, there's a little yellow thing. What does that do? What are these things? I've got friends. Nice. Cool. Okay. Can I? She can go even faster. Trim the sails. I pushed a button and I did not mean to. I don't want to move yet. I was trying to like um. How do I stop? Why are we going so fast? What happens if I hit this? We're gonna hit it. No consequence. Do I have to push that loot button? I was trying to figure out if I can, I can just let go of the tiller for a second here. 
How do we slow down? I cannot turn more. So we can disembark. Is this us? We have a bun and we're wearing a skirt? What happened? No wonder we're the slave pirate. Well, we could Dead Eye Nelson. Oh no, not Dead Eye Nelson. Can we get in a fist, a fist fight with him? Come on, land on our beach. We'll fight you if we can. Okay, that's weird. That depth of field, that field of view. When I like, when I turn it quick, we have um, depth of field turned off. Well, we are a little too handsome for a pirate. All right, well, so begins our... Can you look at the camera? We're going to name this guy Cross Eyes. I still don't... I can't believe we didn't get to name him. This is such an awkward movement pattern. I bet there's no combat. I bet it's all naval combat. I get to repeat. We've gone through on the channel here a lot of Ubisoft titles. None of them have characters that move like this. This is awkward. It might not be immediately clear if you're just watching this. This is a very awkward movement pattern. I bet I could I could pull up footage of running trying to run in a circle in, in other Ubisoft games and it just works. We better walk slow. This is awkward. All right, well. Go begins. Cross-eyed. Why are we so cross -eyed? What is my guy looking at? There we go. So begins the adventure of Cross-eyed the, the, the pirate. We're slightly too handsome while also being incredibly... Why are we wet? The tide is coming in? Oh my gosh. Great. We just got dried off. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, shake it off. Shake it off. All right. Well, uh -huh -huh. ha-ha. <laughs> That's our ship behind us. So begins the... <sighs> My guy, look at the camera. Look, look, just look at. Oh, Zared. Okay, how do we reply? Ben, okay, try again. Can we fist fight? Question mark. At Zared Z. Okay, I'm typing still. It's just not picking it up. I'm typing still. Still typing. Okay, I'm going to give up on typing. Just X out. Okay. So begins the adventure of, of Cross-Eyed, the, the surprisingly guapo pirate. I think we're a slave, though. I don't really know what those people want. On our journey to becoming Pirate King. Yeah, I've got that yellow beeping thing. Stop beeping. What is this square? Oh, I'm sinking. Confirm. 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 Oh, there's three of them. Uh, that is an obnoxious menu. There we go. They're wearing our same outfit. There's only enough beach for one of us. Come here, we're gonna fight. Hey, I'm trying to fight you. Stop. I'm pushing every button. There's no fight button. Interact, hold still. Invite the group, send friend request. Nope. That's not fist fight. You wanna fight me? I'm going to rob you. If only I could interact with you, silly NPC. This is like, I, like, I'm trying to figure out what the words are to explain how awkward this is. See how the camera's slowly drifting? Hold on, I'll do it again. The camera's slowly starting to drift back towards center. I'm not doing that. It's very subtle, but we are drifting. It's it's not my controller. It's not it's not joystick drift. It's just slowly drifting back to center. It kind of settles. I'm going to tell him to walk directly to the right. Here we go. And there's our little half turn, and we're stuck on this guy here. We actually could not move. And let's just go. What are we doing here? I actually still don't know. We've got no markers, no objectives. Like, they're fighting. We could fight, too. All right. Place your bets. I'm trying to line up the camera. Punch him. Punch him out. You remember the little kids that were fighting in Assassin's Creed Odyssey? They were a lot of fun. But apparently whoever worked on that did not work on this. I don't think those hits are landing. And I wish they had like a better sound effect. Come on. And they're wearing my pants. Why are we all wearing the same pants? A headbutt. Nice. He's going to be feeling that one. Okay, what's next?
Are they gonna fight? Okay, that's all their moves. Okay, what do you guys got? Yeah, 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 a little pushing. I'm next, I'm next. Yeah, push him again, push him again. See what happens, huh? You said what? Yeah, I said it. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, I'm gonna fight you. Okay, here comes the fight. Maybe they just push. Yeah, yeah, throw it, throw that punch. Throw the punch, go ahead, he's ready. Look, he's ready. A lot of a lot of chest bumping and, and pecker poking here. I don't know what they're gonna do next. Come on, he's squared up. Come on, come on, throw a hit. Go ahead, go ahead, do it. Look, they both have the same arms. <laughs> they're on the same pirate diet, you know. Rum. I actually I have no idea what they, what they eat. <laughs> I keep thinking one of them's gonna swing. I think they want to hug. Maybe they're lovers. Maybe this is their thing. It looks very aggressive. But if we change the dialogue from like, hey, you want to fight? You want to fight? To like, you know what? You're gonna like this. Yeah, I am gonna like this. Go ahead, do it. No, no, you do it. All right, I'll do it. Fine, it's my turn. You're gonna like this. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna like it. Yes, you are. Okay, I'm gonna like it. Maybe they like this. I don't know. Like, maybe they're together. One of them's maybe blind in an eye. How about this guy here? He's a ghost. This one's kind of a ghost. Yeah, it's tough to fight a ghost. And he's gone again. It's really tough to fight a ghost pirate. We have to give him full credit for effort. As, um, that's tough. That's really tough. What's up, guy? Also a ghost. That's fine. I did see there was a talk button. It just did not do anything. Hi. Oh, what happened to my fist fight I was trying to organize? Yeah, Zared does not want to fist fight. Okay. Cookery. We're cooking now. Campfires or cookery pots can be used to cook food. Consuming grilled food gives an immediate boost to crew stamina. The crew has stamina. Interesting. Cooked food grants stamina regen and even unique buffs. I don't remember seeing rowing rowing dudes, but if we have a rowing crew, stamina makes sense. Okay, we don't have any of the material we need. So we can grill fish or grill shark. The grilled fish has four box next to it. Grilled shark has eight. They both restore 40 stamina. We don't have any fish or any shark. So sucks to suck. Are they dancing? Is this a pirate dance? Can I sit on this box? Okay. Everyone's coming up to this guy. We will uh, walk up to him as well. Here we go. Anything? Anything at all. I see it says talk. It's it's look right there. It says talk. Hold on. I, like he won't he won't quite. Oh, oh, almost had it. Nope. So close. Love it. OK, can I maybe like use the camera? No, it's still such on um that person. Hold on. It's like right here. I'm so glad these two dudes are in the dialogue. I want in to. Oh, there was. It's a talk. We'll try again. It's fine. Oh, there was. Gone. Okay. One step this way. Nice. Oh, he moved. Thank you. It's my turn, right? Okay, I'm pushing the button. Pushing button. Pushing button. Pushing button. There we go. I told Captain Rassler the ship was as overburdened as a pregnant sow. We may have lost the British in the fog. But also the race against these cursed elements. What fog? See now, the Exeter's guts spilled across these shallows. And I'm surrounded by drunken sluggards who believe they are doomed to this hellish rock. And where were you, Captain, while the Exeter was hounded by British frigates? I don't know. No doubt cowering in your quarters like the filthy build rat you are. Can we kill him for that? You steered into the reefs, not me. 
I guess we can't kill him. And if you had kept the British off our backs, as per your agreement with Skerlock, we would not be in this shit kettle in the first place. Oh no, that's the worst kettle. You wish to reach St. Anne? Of course you do. And so do the rest of this drunken lot. We return to the kingpin empty-handed. He will surely strip us of our titles, if he does not first strip us of our skin. Retrieve what remains of Scalock's cargo from the shark-infested waters. Only then will I divulge the way to pirate paradise. Pirate paradise? Why would this guy know anything about pirate paradise? The only thing this guy knows is how not... Okay, hold on. Okay, cargo master, available contracts, a pirate's deal. Skurlock's contraband has been lost to the surrounding waters after the crash of the Exeter. Are there three E's in this word? Recover the contraband to trade for information on how to reach St. Anne. More. We'll get a repair kit, fish, and a crowbar. I don't know if this is a very good deal. We can click back. Can we uh, can we negotiate this at all? No. Stick to the agreement and get me Skurlock's cargo. Listen here, chief officer. How about you just tell me where Pirate Paradise is and I don't gut you? I would if I could. Good. Now make haste. You make haste. Contract accepted. A pirate's deal. Recover the contraband from the waters. I'm still in charge here. Here we go. What does this do? We push the button. Oh, hey, it's us. Wouldn't trust the officer to guide a fish in open seas. But if the bugger knows the way to St. Anne, we need to get Skurlock's cargo. The letter X. So we can sail in first person? We might have to search them. Well, this is a lot nicer in first person. Ooh, there's a shark. Look at the fin. How do we fight him? Get him. Aha! -ha! Wow. That's a lot of teeth for a shark. In trouble now, shark boy. Watch out for those teeth. Wow, is this like such an inaccurate system? He's getting away and I can't turn any faster and I can't get out of this view. We're going to hit this rock. Awesome. I'm going back for that shark. My hands are shaking. That was close. Come here, you fiend. You think they regenerated health? I wish we knew what the sailing commands were. How do I get out of this? How do we harvest it? How do we slow down? Where did the shark go? It's right here, right? Is there not an auto loot button? Do we really have to spam loot every single button? Auto harvest is on. There's off, there's on. What are the controls? Why why have we not gotten a control clue at all? Okay, uh, I guess we don't get to know the controls. Down, up. Right, left, L3, R3, R3, left trigger, left trigger, left trigger, okay, right trigger, right trigger, right trigger, right bumper, left bumper, triangle, circle. Okay, so circle was the sail. I think. Yeah, I can't get this. Okay. 
gets the sail down. We catch some wind. Circle pulls the sail up. Okay. Square. Repair kit. Toggle rear camera. Photo mode. Oh, I do love a good photo mode. Oh, man. I I will get hooked just because of the photo mode. Oh, I do like photo mode. Where are the sharks? Okay, we're, we can only go this far from our little boat, though. Oh, three. Orbit. Oh, so we can spin in place. Okay. A little zoom action. Rotate. Reset. We've got some grids. We can go straight up, straight down, left, right. All right. I would like. I would like to have a little bit more. Tilt. Strike true. I would like to have a little more jazz to this, but it's not bad. Like just the depth of field would be nice. This is pretty cool though. Hold on. Look at us. Hey, I'm, 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 what are they doing? All right, so this is the guy that puts the darn you little ghosty dude. We'll make it out of here alive. You'll see. This is the guy who brings the sail up and down. Comes for us. This is me. I'm sitting here all cross-legged. Look, okay, how do I do this button? Hold on. Right trigger to zoom. We sit here like with our legs crossed, all casual in this little box. Better to wet your trousers than to die at sea. I guess she's in charge. This is our navigations officer. Can we get a sweet photo of, I guess, not his hiney? Trying to get like her casual out here. This will be fun. Have a tough shot. Okay. That is a really tough shot. Why did it get blurry? We might have to search them. Hold still. Ah, we're trying to take your photo. We'll take our own photo, I guess. It's not bad. How do I take the photo, though? Capture. Uh, excuse me, Guavo Van. I'm trying to take your photo. Could you look back this way, sir? Image capture. I is too quick. Edit mode. Whoa, I've got some filters. Okay, look, we found it. Depth of field. There we go. Okay, hold on. So there are a few more things we can do. So we can wash out the colors. Which, again, I want these filters to have a name. I think I like this one. Yeah, how did we do this? Okay, once we... Oh my gosh, I don't know how to do this. Okay, we're stuck again. It's a little clunky, but it's functional. Not our best work. Captured to sky. I don't know. Uh, we're supposed to be doing something, aren't we? What do they actually want? Opulent rum. We need to find some rum, but how do we get out of first person? Huggle primary camera. Cooked food, crow's nest. Oh, 
right, left. Alright, we're gonna stay in first person for now. Sails down. I think I've got most of the controls. I can. I, I think. I, I think. I, I think I got it down. Here we go. You know what? This is a legitimate question. Why don't we just shoot these guys and take their stuff? That's the Ravenclaw. They want to get shot, don't they? Give us your stuff. Give it to us. Like, why are we doing all the work? I guess because we have no other choice. We couldn't do anything to them. All right, fine, let's go, whatever. Man, sails down. I really thought we were gonna be able to pirate those guys. Who's shooting? Are they shooting a rock? What's wrong with you? You know, I really do miss like the pirate songs my sh my sh my crew would sing to me on the. Those copses. We might have to search them. All right, pirate stuff. Hey, cover! Look, a broken mast on that island. Could there be survivors? One thing at a time, woman. But we do need to manually select loot each Good time. Work. I think we have enough. All right, sails are down so we can turn. The sea wants our blood! Come at me, beast! What is that? Another shark? Oh, this one's much weaker. Sails down. Let's go towards that question mark and see if we can't figure out. Uh, she said there might be survivors, right? Any way to tell how far that is? I guess not. You might have you might discover the Sea of Thieves stream I did, the curse stream. I'm not getting super seasick. I don't really know what the difference is here. But I'm not, so that's a big win. Oh, these little crabs? Probably not good. See if we can cook things really quick. And grill. Two? Grilled fish. Done. How could this have happened to us? So much blood. So much death. I don't see any blood. Tell me you're not part of Rassler's crew. I'm not part of Rassler's crew. You're a passenger. Like me. Yes. We were five in the Dow. After the wreck. Then the sharks came. It happened so fast. Wrestler's crew didn't help us. They even laughed. It is too late for me. But maybe you will walk on the free shores of Saint Anne. Her only options like, all right, cool, bye. That's it. So things we there's nothing to like loot or take from him. Or like any of these boxes. I will find mine in the afterlife. I'm gonna read this and then summarize it.
Man, this was written by someone very dramatic. By the grace of the King of France, defender of the kingdom, we're informed that the notorious Captain Freeman with several rogues seized and absconded with company ship, committing several acts of piracy upon the high seas. They are henceforth proclaimed enemies of all mankind. Utmost diligence shall be used to apprehend said pirates. His Royal Majesty assures payment of 50,000 silver coins for the capture. Oh my goodness. Is that a lot or not? Like, are, are they selling us kind of low or is this like actually like a big bounty? This is the uh, the Gazette proclamation for the apprehending of Captain Eureka. Nice. Can we take this or? I was kind of hoping it was like a bounty system or something. Nothing left for us to do here, it looks like. Unless we can pick up these cocoa nuts, we can. Aha! We just scooped them right up. That's right, two cocoa nuts. Oh, man. Well, aren't we just a real pirate? We found two cocoa nuts on a beach. That's right. One, two cocoa nuts. I cannot believe this. Coconut. Okay, and that is as wet as we can get. I'm just taking a second to like soak in the water. Ah, that was a terrible pun un un unintentionally. We need to deliver things. See if we can fight you one. Oh, nope. Okay, never mind. I'm done. I'm done. I tried so hard to get that typing thing to work. Sails down. Those corpses. Oh, we look, we found a map. Them. We're still moving. Uh. View contracts. How do I do this? How do I do this? We're still moving. I don't want to hit anything. Cargo. Coconut. Restore stamina, a stranded island staple. Metal salvage, torn sail, broken planks, some shark skin, new contracts. I don't know how to interact with that. Journal, a pirate steel. This is what we are tracking, it says. And that's it. Okay. Those are all the buttons. I'm very serious. I'm starting to see why there were so many incredibly negative reviews, but like I'm pretty content just to sail my ship and pick up some stuff. Wait, there's buttons here we didn't have before. Hold on. Captain's emo. Use. That that's what captains do. OK, I will show you one more time. This is the captain's emote. Yeah, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> we can point forward. We can invite over here. What is this one? Greet. What's the greeting? Wow, aren't we just suave? Captain Zemo. A little bit of this action. I'm just spamming the emote button for him to do it. There we go. Look at us go. A little curtsy. Aren't we just a little feminine? Look at, look at, why is our beard so patchy? We must have some Indian blood. Look at that, a patchy here, a patchy here. All right, what is this button? And we have the photo mode. Oh, I do like photo mode. Okay, we gotta go. We're, we're not, we gotta be careful with photo mode. What's up? Point. Look at him, look at him. Okay, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Another knee. They love it. We gotta go. We gotta go. I'm gonna get lost. Oh, the ghosts are gone. We lost the ghost, guys. Hi, this is the PCO, the pirate chief officer. You wish the way to St. N. Get me Skellox cargo. I already talked about this. A deal's a deal, you scumbag. Thanks for the goods. You're rotten. Skellock may well spare my head. We'd take it off if I we could. say the same for you. Sucks to suck. After I tell him about the captain who failed to protect his cargo. <laughs> Find your own way to St. N, chum sniffer. 
<laughs> no, you're the jump sniffer. <laughs> I don't. Please tell me we can kill this person. Why don't you ask Captain Rasla? No, no, he's bad news. Corpse might know the way. No, we cannot do any harm to him. But we can point. Still alive, Bill. If we could kill him, we would. I don't think we have anything to cook. Do not. Okay. I wonder how we save. Let's ask everyone. <laughs> A little weasel to the very end. And we're out of here. Disembark. 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 Okay. I thought that did something else. I don't really know a lot about boats. Clearly disembark meant go backwards in this occasion. What are we supposed to do now? Search the Exeter for information on... Find a way to break in. Okay. Sail down. Like, I know it could be a little tough to, like, appreciate, comprehend. I, I'm very happy just to sail my little boat right now. I don't get to do this a lot anymore, okay? Player invited you to group. I'm accepting. Group leaders' objectives are now shared with the group. Find a way to break in. Enemies are tougher and drop more loot. Nice. You think I need to sail up to this? I bet we do. I bet it's a disembark thing. When salvaging shipwrecks, advance the step by aiming for a colored segment and pressing right trigger. Landing in the green zone returns optimal results, while yellow gives less. Failing three attempts will abandon the salvage process. Okay. I wasn't ready. Where's the green zone? I can't do anything. I maybe it just auto did it. Oh, 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 it's us. We're on our feet. So isn't this the dude that didn't help the dying guy? What we got. I'm going to summarize this again. There are wide suspicions that the Red Islands is host to a secret pirate den. Probably good intel. Anything over here that glows? No. Okay. If it glows, it's golden. Cannons. Hope I don't need to use them. What incredibly janky. I like, I could not express enough how bad this land interaction is here. I do anything with this cannon. We can shoot it. Waste of time. There's nothing to shoot. Hi. Oh, he's a ghost. Note in a bottle? Nope, just a bottle. This is so bad. Look, I'm turning the camera. Oh, I just, I don't like it. Journal of the frigate. And don't care. Do we need to scroll though? Oh, wait, hold on. What did the chief mate do? Darn it, now I care. Chief mate. Look, it looks like there, there was some, like, tough weather. Enter. What are we entering? Oh, there must have been a door. Oh, goodness. He didn't make it. He wakes up, pulls out a flintlock. The powder's wet, but it still goes off. Backfires, he loses a finger. Oh, too soon. That was suspicious. Saint Anne. Big circle, X marks the spot. We should take the whole map, guy. Burn this place down. We just leave? We don't even loot? What kind of pirate are we? We're not only cross-eyed, we're like dumb. We got a spyglass, though. That's cool. 
We go back inside and loot? Door is locked. Well, we are a special kind of stupid. Look at all this treasure. Let us loot it. Read. What are we reading? I don't care about that. We can't loot any of this treasure. I'm like so incredibly insulted about this. I'm worried there's maybe an achievement tied to shooting abandoned cannon on this ship or something. And are we ever going to get to do this again? I don't know. We can't aim or do anything. Okay, I can look right. I can look left. X, right trigger, left trigger. Maybe not our best shot. What happens if we hit this? I think we're actually knocking loot into the water. Hypothetically, we could then go pick up. How did that miss? We sh we overshot. Come on, reload faster. My goodness. Bit of a long shot here. I think we hit it. Oh. A little higher. Here we go. We got Sapphire Sparkles. What does that do for us? Can I shoot this guy? No, there's a big don't shoot symbol. Well, that is just the sadness. We had a cannon, we had a boat in our sights, and there's nothing we could do. Oh, wait, we have a little yellow icon. Hold on. Freeman's luck indeed. You found a way to St. Anne and a letter bearing Skurlock's mark. Is that good? The kingpin will surely want to know what happened to his cargo. Or Jones Skurlock will have three shots from a flintlock wizard for our heads. Or just yours, friend. <laughs> What's a pirate's life without a little peril and mischief, eh? With the cargo from the Exeter lost, Skurlock will need a daring rogue like yourself to procure new goods for his pirate empire. And so far, your fortune has steered us true. I'm glad we pulled your corpse from the sea, friend. Rassler is dead, and with him, all prior obligations or duties. You are free to make your own luck now, Captain. Captain, is it? As long as you don't tear us into the blasted rocks. We're finally getting out of these cursed atolls. Fortune smiles upon you, Captain. Something tells me we're going to be just fine. Hmm. Okay, how do we do this I think again? I might even stick around for a while. Oops, no. Map. We can't zoom or move it. Okay, there we go. So we need to go this way. Well, we are going to St. Anne's. Right? Yeah, escape the Forsaken Atolls and set sail for St. Anne. Okay. St. Anne's horizon might hold the sunrise I've been yearning for. Better hope the pirates don't stab you in the back first. Yeah, I hope pirates don't stab me in the back. That would suck. looking around
Ah, smell that salt, spice, and sin, Captain. What? The Indian Ocean holds many secrets and mysteries. The smuggling den of St. Anne is one of its hidden gems. Whatever a pirate needs, this place has it in stock. St. Anne is where we turn our luck into fortune, friend. Skalok can get us started. That letter is proof you're a pirate worth a lick of salt. What? Hey, don't look at me. You're the best pirate to win Skurlock over. Me? Ah, yeah. I had my shot in the past. We don't need Skurlock's loyalty to gain infamy and influence. Only his connections. A proper ship would be a start. Unless you want to keep cozying up on your Dao. I'll stay by the ship while you tread shore. Pay no mind to the bottom feeders, Captain. Remember, we answer only to the winds of fate. <laughs> well, we answer only to the winds of fate. I wish she said something that Matt. I wish. Isn't gonna make it. The little twig will snap within days. First name Heckler. Days. That carcass is just about falling apart. First name Heckler. And reeks of whale piss. Oh, how would you know about whale piss? Oh, yuck. We've got an expert on whales. That's where we keep our map, right in the butt pocket of our, our pantalonis. Like, what are we... Hold on. The ink blot. Golden egg stockade. We need to deliver the letter and report the Exeter's fate to John Gerlock. Huh. But if we don't, like, what is, uh, how do I, how do I get rid of that symbol? Cannot close this. See, there's, uh, like, right above in the lower right, there's a little, nope. Green? How do I save? No one knows. Okay. They can sprint. Hopefully we unlock sprinting. Check out the cookery. We now sprint. Why are we so... Oh, good. We have two coconuts, so we can grill them. Is there any reason we should, though? I guess we'll just grill them, why not? I don't care about some fucking prophecy. The sea people will never defeat Clan Now we just sprint. I don't know why we're so fast all of a sudden, but we are. Look at us. He's got a gun. Can we get a gun? Who's this? We're following you. Everything boss says is gold. This is the mayhem something? Oh, hey, it's John Skurlock. Let's take his photo. He's going to love that. Hi, John Skurlock. Hi, John. Who gave this man a gun? He's only got one eye. Uh, okay. Edit. I think I like this one. Why? Okay, hold on. John Skurlock. John, would you mind looking at the camera? We're trying to take your photo, man. John, the camera's right here. Oh, okay. Almost got him. Excuse me, John. You mess with us, you mess with Skurlock. You hear? Okay, John, would you just stay in the frame for a second? Because you hold still a little bit. John, John, a John, little closer. John. John, man, John. Come on, Skurlock. Ah, uh, better snap his photo quick. He's moving so much. John, hold still, hold still. Oh, we were too slow. He's blurry. Hi, 
All right, I think we got a photo of John Skurlock here. We're going to go ahead and ask him what the good news is. What's up, John? This one here survived the wreck. Whoops. Sure looks like it. A survivor. Come on in, Callie. So I guess we weren't talking to John Skurlock the whole time. Whoops. Get it done. We'll never show your ugly mug again. You useless kit. The British wrecked my ship, sank my cargo, but it's worthless. No promises. We needed those goods. You see, this port rises on Chulin's patronage. And that merchant's so rich he pisses liquid gold. A lot well, of talk about urination, huh? I sent a full haul of goods, and his demands triple. I'll need more captains. We can trade my way into a haul of those goods, or I can rob merchants to get you those goods. Yeah, we're robbing merchants. Are you kidding me? We're a pirate. A proper pirate, I see. Yeah, shut up, Skurlock. Oh, you need a keen eye for prizes. And a lot more guns. Cully, I saw that little tub you washed up in. Are you kidding it's me? halfway to Flotsam. What's your point? You've got spirits. But you're not ready yet. And you want to get out of those rags and into a real ship. Then build your reputation. And earn the people's respect. Good things will follow. You do that, and I can make you the most infamous pirate in all the seas. Now off you go. We'll see each other soon. Gerlock. I want to talk about this really quick for a second. Outside of Sidmir's Pirates, the last time I really spent time, which you should be able to find a video on that on the channel. The last time I spent a lot of time in a pirate adventure was Void Century, the year that came out. And that should put some perspective on like how much I've been missing a pirate, a pirate adventure. Voyage Century. I'm not even sure it still exists. Gaining infamy. Infamy tracks your standing and influence within the pirate community. New services and contracts become available as you raise your level of infamy. The tougher the challenge, the more infamy you stand to gain. Okay. Press smack to access the infamy tab. All right, smack. Whoa. Hold on. Here's our cargo. There we go. Here's a map. Okay, hold on. Warehouse, mailbox, mailbox, cookery. Carpenter, shipwright, finery, cookery, blacksmith, hawker, commodities, vanity. Ho ho ho! What? And uh, John. Oh man, this could be really cool. Like this might not be like the best game to stream, but like darn. I want to do all this stuff. Okay, how do I get back? Cargo, Captain. This is us? Infamy level zero. Oh, be afraid. Chips. Chip rank one. Perks Hunter. Preserves wildlife material from hunting. Chip type DPS. Okay. I do not want to play DPS. Tell you what. Knowledge, materials, combat. Hmm. Russian, okay, contracts, group, play. An equipment, trimming, tap X to activate trimming. You cannot trim when you're out of crew stamina, okay. Okay, that seems to be everything. We still have something in the mailbox. Let's go see what's in the mailbox. Not 
of trade going from up east to and east. left and right and mailbox are you the mailbox Ooh, look at this cat this is why you want photo mode look at this thing <laughs> it's a spooky cat that has a little peg leg you think he's always here the spooky cat <laughs> this is the stream we just sit and watch the cat as the whole stream Maybe I can start singing This is Halloween. That would be kind of funny. I, the only words I know is this is Halloween. So get a little tough. OK, where are we? We ran all the way past the mailbox somehow. Mailbox. Check mailbox. Retrieving mail. Oh, someone sent me a nice letter. Oops, oops. They say you are a pirate crew. We can claim a rampant, a wild, and a goro godoro. Why are there so many O's in this word? We will send it to our warehouse. You do not have more mail. Okay. Warehouse. This is our warehouse? Nice. You're one of the survivors from the shipwreck. Allegedly. Your situation must have improved if you're here for storage space. Like a hard-working ant, you can never be too organized. What? Who says that? I'm looking for a store all button. To read is to control time. Well, this. This is obnoxious. There's not like a just transfer all button. No, but we can one at a time click all of them. Wow. For storage needs, home again. All right, what's this? The vanity guy? Sure, why not? We're here. It's the vanity gal. Check it out. What is this thing? This dude's kind of freaky. You might think it's Groot. It's not. That is her enemy. She shrunk him down and petrified him. Here for restyle, Mocha? I don't know. I can tell from a glance you're not a normal pirate. Whoa, whoa, Come. whoa. Florentine Daliso will turn your life around with fashion to fit your rising fame. Okay, thanks, Florentine. Here is 500 complimentary gold to get you started. With gold, you can unlock cosmetics. Okay, thank you. Plus 500 gold. Purchase and equip items. What can we get? Can we look cooler? Equipment. And how do we try it on? Select set. Okay, hold on. <laughs> what? <laughs> These expensive? You think the first one's free? I'm not really a big fan of any. Oh, wait, hold on. That would keep the sun off our face. That might be nice. And then we have umbrella. Okay, how do I click this? Oh, these cost silver? Large tooth. Well, these are these pants at least have like um pants. I like I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. I really don't. Like I don't know if I've made that clear yet. I'm trying, but like. Let's start with pants, huh? 
Oh, we have two pants. We've got these and we have these. Kind of hoping for something that wasn't so dumpy in the trunk, but whatever. Like, it just looks like we're like carrying a like a like a load in our diaper. Like, do we have anything that's just kind of a straight leg? That's not bad. Prowler breeches. There's a brothel. Nice. These seem like the nicest pants. The Shadow Seeker set. Was there a set? Hold on. Sets. Which one was Shadow Seeker? Sea Dog, Blade, Blockade, Indigo, Saber, Shadow Seeker. I see. This is all set. One dumb eye patch, one dumb hat, one dumb neck piece, one dumb shirt. Um, some useless gloves. We can put a pistol, name it right at all of our, our, our important parts. The nicest pants we've found yet, and some closed-toed boots. I'm hoping there's better cosmetics we can unlock. I'm just, I'm not impressed with this. There's a hidden pocket on the inside. I believe it. I just want to see what it looks like. They're not all a part of a set, but the, the silver is very expensive. A surprisingly nice one, huh? Visit store. Items may be sold in separate offers. Oh, so the suave sea dog is not always here. That's what this is telling me. A little FOMO? A little FOMO? So if you want this hair, this is the only time to get it for the next five days. If you want this gold earring, which we kind of do. Oh, we don't want the eye patch, though. Just wanted the... Whatever. My hair has had better days. Sorry about your hair. If you want these gloves or these, um... This, like, hip sash or these pants or these boots... This is the wow. That's quite the look. This is it. You want to be the swap sea dog? You've uh, you've got to get it in the next five days. But it doesn't actually say how much it is. Visit store. Two thousand. Two thousand gold. They're all two thousand. Oh my goodness. Any good fun emotes? Clap. We can clap. And we can threaten. Eh, kind of weak. Physical appearance. Can we fix our hair, you think? Oh, look, we can see our character now. Why could why wouldn't they let us do this before? I want to know what the hair looks like from the back, as that's where we mostly see it. I just want the hair out of the way. I just really didn't want to have to, like, tie it up in, in anything. Like, all these things are going to require... Okay, this might work for us. Just go basic. Let's just not complicate it. Okay, how do we save this? Back. No. In. Why? Please confirm. Confirmed. Did it work? Keeping it simple. No hair ties. I definitely expected fancier cosmetics. Will confirm. What are we doing in here? Oh, we're leaving. Okay, speak to the ship guy. Okay. Too many fresh 
commodity trader. Come back later. He's too good to trade with me. Hawker to our left? Maybe up there, though? What's the Hawker do? Got bananas. Welcome to Mako Lacey's provision shop, Skipper. Buy or sell food, I'm your lass. Okay. If you ever try to swindle me, we will I'll bite your head off like a Mako shark. Nice. They're Otherwise, fast. I'm a bucket of sunshine. We're here for the swindling. Stock up on repair kits. No items to sell, so we can't sell from our warehouse, apparently. We can buy a water flask. Some flour. Apparently a crucial ingredient. There's a limited stock, even. This is a recipe for cooking something. I wonder if... You have to buy them every time you want to cook them, or once you've bought them, you know them. Torpedo crate. Restocks in 50 I have a minutes. Bad left arm, but can still stab with my right. She's got a bad left arm. Wow, that that is something. No hawker than Mako Lacey. Okay, Lacey. Again. Thank you, Lacey. I'm getting a little lost here. So there is the dock. Carpenter. Talk to the carpenter next. Like when other characters are here, we can't talk to him. It says he is busy. Yeah, I cannot get the prompt there. Go to the blacksmith next. He ignores you. Nice. Is that everyone who's not the shipwright? There's one more dude here. Refinery. He has no business with you yet. All right, keep your secrets. Okay. It is time to talk to the shipwright. It says... Mm, Red Sand Builders. Okay. Oh. Ah. So you're the kelp that washed ashore from the wreck of the Exeter. Skellock may see potential in you. But all I see is a would-be pirate with salt in their breeches. Bro. Tell me. What does the Pirate King see in someone as ragged as yourself? So we can either say one of two things. I wish this dialogue was centered on the screen. Why does it give us this awkward left hand side top left corner of our dialogue? We can either say I'm determined for my birth or rule the seas. Mm, we want to rule the seas. Yeah, we'll tell him that. Why not? <laughs> And why would others sail with a captain with one leaky boat to their name? I don't know. But if you prove your worth, even the waves will bend to your will. Okay. I expect you'll be wanting a pet on the back, treasure in your boots, and John Skellock's warm embrace. Not really. Ha. Saint Anne would sooner slit your throat than be called your paradise. I can build you the mightiest ship in the Indian Ocean, like I did for Skellock with his Margareta. But how you steer it into the waves is up to you, Captain. Okay, available contract goes to the trade. It doesn't say what the objective is. But whatever the reward is, is 100 coins and um, some wood. So, uh, you know, for the wood. A pirate steers their own ship. What are we doing, though? But how it fares in a monsoon depends on its maker. Visit my friend, Zane, the carpenter, and he will help you craft the tools needed for harvesting shipbuilding materials. Okay, we'll go talk to the carpenter. Contract accepted. I Like, what is the contract, Thank though? You. Come back again. To the carpenter. What's up, carpenter? Ujambo. Hi. You have been floating on a splinter of luck so far. Bro. To have a reputation here, you must get your hands bloody. Oh. It's the pirate way. Oh, the pirate way? All right. You are eager. I like it. Thank you. But be careful. The blood you spill is not your own. Word. We can help each other. Okay. You bring me quality materials and I'll make you the best tools on the Red Isle. That way. Both our names will grow. All right, deal, man. What a guy. 
Harvesting tools are used to extract materials. Tools for each different type of material can be crafted at the carpenter. Blueprints and materials are required to craft weapons, equipment, and tools. Okay. Craft new item. Look at that. Multiple levels of tools. Oh my goodness. Spyglass upgrades, crowbar upgrades. Oh my goodness. Look at this grind. Ooh. <laughs> Freedom is not given. A pirate must steal it. All right, man, bet. What are we doing here? So, pickle needs rusty nails and some wood. Selecting allows the harvesting of fiber for plants. Okay, crafting. Boom. Saw. Allows harvesting of wood from trees for crafting. Done. Pickaxe allows the harvesting of metal ore from deposits for crafting. They're all crafting tools. Imagine that. It's incredible. Asante, see you Tenna. Yeah, man, we like this guy. What was his name again? VP, do you need more from me? Buy and sell. Repair kit blueprint. Obtaining this will automatically add it to your blueprint collection. It looks like you need to buy these brew blueprints. All right, we're gonna hold on to our monies for the minute. Business again. Yeah, hundred percent carpenter guy. We like you the best. Let's talk to check your map. Hold on, we need to gather resources. Acquire Akachi. Why are there so many vowels in this word? In two C's, A C A C I A. What are we doing? We need to go to our boat. I bet we do. Oh wait, to the boat. You guys come here often? <laughs> they both look away. All right, fine. We'll leave the pirate ladies alone. I thought this place was supposed to be dangerous. No one has a single weapon. I don't know how we're going to lose an eye if there's no danger. Hey, it's the hecklers. Hello, hecklers. They're not very good at heckling. Say something to my face. Go ahead. Point. You tried to heckle me and she's not good at it now. All right, let's go. This is ridiculous. Let's say everybody ready to get us enough repair kits. I didn't bring a single one. Okay, manage ship. You got a bigger ship ready, Captain. We don't. I don't want to have to haul you from the sea again. Change ship. This is our only boat. Oh, it's called the Dow. Oh, you know what it really should be called? The Black Dow. <laughs> hey, Captain, we're going aboard. Repair instantly repair for three silver. Okay. Ship is at full health. Manage cargo. Oh, it's got some cargo in it. Check this out. Okay, so... How do I move this to my warehouse? Transfer the warehouse. Not really sure why we have to do it all one at a time, though. Now, we'll keep the food. And PvP flag is off. And we will set sail. Level one here on the Black Dow. We need to go harvest some wood, I think it was. Check your map to locate resources. So we are here, and if we go... We'll sniff those goods out. Quite far, apparently. Can we mark this R3 to mark? We've marked that. All right. And first person and sail down. Or we're sailing. Check it out. This is the game. I uh, like in case anyone's confused. Like, so what's going on? This is the game. You you go to the land. The dudes on the land. It's it's a very uncomfortable like motion. You give them the stuff, they ask you to go get more stuff, and then you get in your boat and you sail over. I, I find it kind of charming. 
Uh, now, 150 hours from now, I might find this less charming, but right now, this is just kind of charming. We're going right into the storm. Don't care. Weapons are enabled. Your ship is no longer protected. You can see the water, like, coming onto our ship as we go. Can I be doing something with this? Toggle rear camera. Right trigger. That's the rear camera. Oh, they're fast. They're level two. Look at them go. How do I get out of this? Okay, that worked. Toggle primary camera, photo mode. Can we use photo mode while sailing? Oh, we can. Oh, this is gonna be a long stream of me in photo mode, huh? <laughs> Look at that. Photo mode. Oh, this is quite nice. This is how we sail, just like this. Maybe a little above the water so I don't get seasick, as I will. Maybe we should put on a filter. Is there, is there a better filter for, uh, for this moment? There, we'll make it a little more blue. Why not? IUI? That's right. We're sailing. It's pirate time. I hope we're going to the right place. I'm not steering anything. I'm in photo mode. We like photo mode. Probably need to angle a little to the right, I guess. Yeah, but look at the water come, like, up and in our boat. Like, they were making fun of our boat, and they had every right to. They really did. Like, water is literally coming over the edge of our boat. Woo! Almost there. We're getting so close. Right trigger? Gather material. Gather some Akashi. Akasia. Akasia. It's gotta be like a tree name I'm just terribly mispronouncing. A-C-A-C-I-A. -A -A. Just too many vowels for me, okay? Is that six letters and four vowels? That's insane. Can we, uh... Can we do anything here? Give me your... Give me the tree. What, do my sail up? How do we disembark? Okay. Calls for help. They're being plundered. I would love to help them. Okay, we're here at the, the Golden Success Beacon. Maybe we need to... That's a spyglass. Oop, okay. We're going to mark... We found the wood. How do we disembark? And not disembark. Okay, square. Is there a tool we can open up? Nothing to consume. Left trigger. Pet interaction. Wheel three. And okay, we're going to put our sail back down. And we're going to go turn towards the other trees that aren't just a trunk. Maybe that's like a resource node that is just not spawned. Can we do anything here? All right. Putting the sail up. I mean, that looks like a tree. I mean, that, that's a tree right there. Okay. This amulet of a sea people merchant ages ago. Pretty, huh? That's a nice amulet, but who are the sea people? If we get in a fight with Atlantis, I'm leaving. Okay, sails up. These, these sure look like trees. Marking it. Check my map here. Hmm. It sure looks like we should be able to do something here. There's no disembark at all. There's a tree right here. Okay, I know what we need to do. I know how to solve this. First, we go here and we say, how do we harvest trees? Question mark. You? Oh, okay. That's obnoxious. The smile on the face because we're nice. And everyone ignores these messages, so I'm sure someone's really appreciating that. 
Let's try again. We'll uh, maybe sail a little this way, see what happens. How do we harvest these trees? They're right there. They're so close. Requires crowbar. I'm just trying to find a tree. Coconut fruit. Is that not a tree? I'm going to have to Google it, and that is embarrassing. You know what? Here's a question. I wonder if we were supposed to ignore all these tree icons and go to this icon right here. Let's assume the answer to that is yes. Let's assume that... We did the wrong thing when it said harvest trees by going to this tree icon. And reality is we need to turn right, sail all the way down and around to this icon here. Let's do that. Let's make that assumption. Check the map here. Sail a little bit that way. There we go. Okay, here, cooked food. Unequip. Select. How do we select? This is a death wish, Captain! Turn us around! Oh, okay. I'm turning us around. What is the issue exactly? Maybe these waters are a little rough, okay. How do we do this? Oh, did somebody reply? Left stick. Nobody replied. Okay. Noxious. How do I do this? Okay. I want to, to edit this so that this here. Select. No. No. Select. Okay, hold on. There we go. Yeah, we need to turn a little a little left here. Why are we taking so much damage? We're like literally taking a load of damage right now. Nothing's hitting us. Just I guess these waters are too rough for our little boat. It's the killer cowboy. We're very fast. How do we do this now? Go. One of these, one of these. That's nice. One of these. We've caught the wind, Captain. We've caught the wind, Captain. Thank you, first mate, Gipper. We not loot. What do we loot? One jute? What's a jute? We've kind of taken a surprisingly high amount of damage. I feel like. Getting a little dark here. All right. Make our way around. I don't know. The sun is up unless you look that way. There be dragons over there. Oh, are we going to hit this? 
I think we'll make the angle. That's it's not bad. We'll have to turn turn the corner in a second. Why not? Looks like we're at a pretty good angle there. Maybe we'll come to this side. It's a little dark, isn't it? I mean, that's just a little washed out, though. Maybe we can fix it, turn up the saturation a little bit. That's way too much. Whoops. Maybe we can just turn up the... The L storms. Ugh. Okay. We're almost to the quest marker. I feel very silly that the quest said, go get some wood. So we sailed to the nearest wood. And then it was like, bro, we don't have any crowbars. Chill out. I feel very silly that the... The, the guide or whatever was like. The guide or whatever was like. Go get some wood. Oh, what is this? Look at this boat. Look at these dudes. Gather materials for your... Oh, they want us to kill these boats that are over here. Ow. All right, here we go. We'll try again. We'll try again. I did not understand this was a hunt these guys down kind of a thing. We're missing. Ah, that build sucker is going down in no time. Let the ocean give you a nice cold hug, eh? I think we should shoot a few more of these guys so that we we, have what we, need. we get up one infamy level if we can. We're currently neutral. I don't really know what that means, but. So we needed to come over to this yellow zone to like sh just beat these little dudes up. I had no idea that's what the quest was. I thought it, they the quest. OK, so this is the order of events, right? Go get an axe so you can cut trees. All right, cool. We got the axe to so cut the trees or, or whatever the tool was. And then it was. Hold up the sails. So we actually got infamy for killing that shark. Now his voice dialogue doesn't quite line up with what he's saying. By the way, I'm going to go to the third person here. We've been doing this to make hard turns. We've put up the sail, whipped hard, right? And then dropped the sail again. Sail up, whipped hard, 
and drop the sail again. Back in the first person. We will just, whoops, we'll just sail this way around. Maybe we'll um, kill another shark if we can. I would, I would like to be able to get that, that infamy up one level. It'd be cool. I'm not sure we can, but before we get back, it'd be cool. I'm also going to point out, do you see the right here? What? Right here is a little like. Uh, right here is an arrow pointing in this direction. If we look where that arrow is pointing. And that's like northwest. Right now we're looking north. And it's pointing almost almost north. Can we hit a uh, stink bird? What are these things called again? Flamingo. Now you might say mad. Why did you call it a stink bird? They're stinky. I'm telling you right now, they're stinky birds. Could be a shark around here. Smuggler mark earned. What does that mean? What's in the store? We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. What does the smuggler mark earned mean? Hold on. Is it in the tutorial, you think? No, combat. Oh, this is important. Ship it. Oh, oh, oh. Let's read this on land. Our sheets will be rent in that gale. Our sheets will be rent in that gale. Is that him? They've got what we need, Captain. Oh, hold on. Let's go kill him. Come on, we're pirates. This is this is a pirate moment, dude. Now our, our ship is very low on health. But look. They're right there. Sailing right at us, those fools. Come on, sink. <laughs> Loot. We got what we came for, Captain. Forty-seven silver. There's the shark. There's the shark. Not our best work here. Try again. Ha ha ha! Loot. Only plus 10 to the outcast. So the last one we killed gave us plus 50. Now this water is a little too rough for us, isn't it? He warned us about this earlier. This is probably too long. Here we go. Way too long. We cannot angle any more up. We're risking it. We're going into the water. It's a little too deep for us here. We have this little baby boat. We should have named it the baby boat. Infamy plus 150. We're heading back towards safer waters here. So to loot this structure here, we would actually need a crowbar, which I don't think we have. How do we find? What is that deep sound? It keeps giving me like a bell ding. To loot that, we would actually need a. Yeah, look at my. Oh, that's Sun Wukong. Uh... How do I do this? Uh, a little this way, a little that way. You got to look at this. The, the water comes literally into our boat. Like, there's not just cracks in our boat, but as we, like, this will make me seasick. I'm not going to look at this long, but as we as we row, like, water comes into our boat. Row. As we row. All right, let's try our stamina bar out. Here we go. Stamina. I don't know how to stop using it. Oh, 
these are all we need to find. Uh. We can, and we will. What does surrender do for us? I was kind of hoping it would become night. So, since they surrendered, can we not just, like, take their stuff? I guess not. So we are officially a scoundrel. We've gone from level nothing to level. I don't I don't know. We were an outcast. We are now a scoundrel. Wow. Right, let's sail back and uh, cash in the quest and or find out if fast travel is a thing. We need to dock the fast travel. What does that mean? Are we docked now? We've got our anchor down. Docked to fast travel. So maybe we can only fast travel between docks. So like, let's say we find another port where we can park our boat. Maybe we can then fast travel between those locations. We're gonna go, I guess, straight and then turn right. How do we see how much cargo we're holding? There we go. So it says we can hold 10,000 and we're holding 2,000. So it looks like we have plenty. Does our crew stamina regen? What is this smuggler's mark? Okay, there's some kind of premium pass with 68 days left. Oh, we get the spooky cat if we can get to the... <clears throat> Completion gives us that spooky cat. Oh, man, they're going to get us with the spooky cat, man. Oh, it's pink. What is this? DMC. What is this? A mohawk? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I don't really know what I'm looking at. Bombard. Repair Bombard 3. Um, oh, those are going to hurt. I really hope our boat... Oh, did we just hit something? Oh, I think it paused? Maybe not. It did not. We completely sailed past where we were supposed to go. You know what? You have to live with that reality. That entire time in that menu, the boat was sailing. Looks like our energy did refill. Enemy ship. Yo, they've got cannons. I've got a spear. Might be a little too much heat for me. They're level three. Or level nothing. Entering the bloody channel. Are they so fast? We are now hostile. The good thing they're not aiming at us because we do almost no damage to this thing. We're gonna get him though. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have messed with us. I don't think they messed with us at all, but we're going right for him. We overthrew them somehow. Is that even possible? Are we doing damage to this thing? 140. Look at their health bar. We'll turn the ship around ourselves if you won't. We're gonna die here. There we go. Basically, this water's too rough for our ship. 
But we need to make sure we're heading towards waters we can actually, like, be in. All right, there we go. All right, so without sprint on... Okay, we got to figure out the sprint mechanic. We're not sprinting right now. I push X. We're not sprinting. I hold X. We are sprinting. We go from four speed to five to six. We're losing stamina. We're holding at six. I push circle to pull up the sail. We're now going back to four. What if we don't engage the enemy, man? What if we just try and get to this port? Never mind, we're gonna fight. They're here. It is really hard to try and take down a boat with a spear, I'm telling you right now. There are one whole level ahead of us, but they have a real boat. From downtown. Plus 60, that was it? Our scoundrel scoring up by 60? I expected more. Hopefully we can dock here. Ship is too small? We can't dock here because we're in the little baby boat. We can buy and sell stuff. You know what? Ugh, that's fine. This is the baby boat. We do need to figure out how to unlock the uh, the boat. Whoops. How do I do this? So we are here. I'm going to come up this way and turn to the right a little bit. We're starting to figure out the systems. We're starting to figure them out. I do feel like that's good to know that the some ports we just can't quite get into. Should I make a mix of music for this stream? Because the music I use, I own the licenses to. And I don't have the license to the music in Skull and Bones here. And I find this a little peaceful, but like picking good music is so hard because it is such a, a personal, you know, preference. It's such a individual preference. And Sometimes when you pick something and it doesn't quite like match what you were hoping it would, it's like a huge L. And so it's safer to just not. All right, looks like we are getting close to entering safe zone. Weapons are disabled. Our ship is being protected. Look at this ship, though. The killer cowboy again. It shows us the loot. Interesting. Well, can we zoom more with this? Right, left, right. No. Oh. Hold on. Unknown captain level four. Even the level four captain looks like they're like far superior to us. I just want to again emphasize this. 
Look at our boat. This is us. This is it. This is what we got. The three of us. Look at these dudes. Little spiky boy, a little Grim Reaper on the front. We need to level up. I really hope this is the right place. Okay, cutscene, sure. I thought this was a uh, cutscene. It's not. We are in a demo right now, so they are trying to tell us on the game. Feels like it's a little early to make that kind of commitment as I don't feel like the demo is taking us very far. So we're going to close this. And then let's take a photo of the guy in the hat. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, come on. They're camera shy. Oh, well. So these hecklers aren't very good at heckling. I would have much preferred if they just insulted us every single time. We got a letter. Oh, nice. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. From the Son of Liberty. Oh, gosh. Flame. Send to warehouse. You do not have new mail. Little send. We sent it to a warehouse. Here's our... Ooh, we can pick up another letter. What is this? Thriving port. Another time. We can now talk to the warehouse. A growing pirate needs more space. She really puts the E in pirate, huh? We have a scoundrel chest. What do we do with this? Open. A hunting spear and a bombard. A bard? I don't know. I'm really not sure. We've got some cannonballs. That's always nice. A bunch of other junk. Okay, well, get out of that. So we got a chest for raising our infamy score. Sailing on a company ship is like living in a bloody prison with the added chance of drowning. So that guy said sailing on a company ship is like living in a prison. But the added chance of drowning. Interesting. Okay, so we have... Uh, we need to deliver the Akia. A Akia. What does that say? It is so just hold on. imported fancy fashion. Oh, very fancy. OK, let's go. When are you going out again? This guy's going to be so happy we brought him all his stuff. If Skerlock vouches for you, then we can do business. OK, here's the wood you want. Oh, we heard you have a problem with wood. I was worried you would not make it back. Continue like this, mate, and fortune will surely come your way. Okay. You are one step closer to securing your own vessel. Oh, hey, thanks. Hey, no captain is worth their salt without a ship to call their own. Craft your first ship to begin your predations upon the sea. Man, they use some big words. Okay, we are going to get some the monies, a plank, iron, metal, and I like corvettes. some rust. Fast ships. You have come many leagues since searching for scraps on the coast. Yes. If you have the silver, I will gladly sell you designs stolen from mercantile dogs. With the right materials, those dogs. You can build a ship to rival their best. Those those mercant mercantile dogs. We've acquired the Bedar. Contract accepted. A seaworthy ship. How many different ships are there? Buy and sell. What are these? These are emotes. Oh, okay, because we're ships, so the emotes are sparkly. Sure. And then these are what? understand oh it's dyes oh it's a cosmetic ew what is this the court can we see this thing l2 
I don't know what I'm looking at. Cold comfort. Um, the coldest. <laughs> what are we? Looking at? Okay, it's some paint. We, I mean, we can recognize paint colors. I think we don't have the parts of the ship this goes to. Like, we don't have a, a ship wheel. We have a rudder. We can get a cat, though. Peg leg cat. And we can get one of these. A lemur. Gonna name this thing Baboomafu. That makes sense. A pirate crew cosmetic. What is this? Blueprint. This blueprint is the recipe for a new ship. Crafted at the shipwright. A blueprint already owned. Okay. <laughs> Why is this not sorted? Can we not sort this cycle inventory right trigger? Oh, shit. Oh, look, this one's got a hat. You need to be a kingpin for this. To give him a hat, you need to be a kingpin. Is that a big deal? Where can we sell him? All kinds of stuff. Hmm. What are we doing here? Oh, crafts. We need to craft. Ooh, okay, hold on. I'm just trying to read this really quick here. So see how it says required rover one? Is that a perk? Is that a level? Is that a, like, build this ship to build the next ship? Oh, there it is on the right. You do not meet the required infamy. What's the required infamy? Rover 1. Why would we build the rammer if we couldn't just build, like, the next ship up? I build ships, yes. But I don't like to sail in them. Why, um, how close are we to the rover thing? Hold on. Take good care of your ship. How do we see that? We're at 1135. At 2205, we would be. Our ship is rank one. How do you level your your ship up? Or is that just the ship? It is a rank one ship. That's it. Uh, okay, so I've got a lot of questions that are. Do you have business for me? Yeah, we'll 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 we'll, gr we'll get the rammer. I don't really want to ram things, but we will. We'll get it. I'd much rather try and build this thing, though. But we don't actually know what it costs, and we don't have the blueprint. But this is going to cost literally all of our resources, which makes me very uncomfortable. But we are just rather... Oh, okay, look, these little icons here. Men of war have over small, guns. small, 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 okay. Medium, 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 medium. So we are missing ships. This guy doesn't know all of them, or we don't have them unlocked. I like, I hate to... I hate to get this ship and like five minutes later unlock building this but not have the materials but I can't see the materials this ship needs until we have the the buy cycle inventory oh, R3 we only want blueprints Blueprint already owned. We're going to craft it, uh, but I'm not happy. I'd much rather just sail around for a little while and grab this.
We're going to go for it, though. It's where they funneled us. Rammer. Rank 1. Size small. Class Bedar. Bedar. A small maneuverable ship that can ram targets and cause flooding damage. Lancer. Increases damage from ramming by 25%. And reduces slowing effect of torn sails by 50%. Applies flooded status effect Ooh. to an enemy ship upon ramming. Specializes in dealing damage and status effects. The DPS favors an aggressive playstyle. Base ship rank 1. Hull health, 22,000. Brace strength, 4,400. Speed 8. Trimming speed 12, cargo 20,000, stamina 100. Furniture slots, two of them are empty. Loadout potential, the front and the sides. We're crafting it. We have crafted our very first ship. Contract complete. A seaworthy ship. Move all cargo to warehouse. Ha! Look at that! A ship to call your own and a shoreline calling to good fortunes. Yeah. Speak to Thomas the blacksmith next. Unless you plan on ramming your vessel into the next company boat. I might. He will build you cannons to sink your enemies instead. Okay. Arm your fully with the help of the blacksmith. All right. Hello, blacksmith. I normally wouldn't give a nobody like you the steam off my person. Okay. Day. A lot of talk about urination. Your ship's got nothing sticking out of her gum ports. Your cannons better be worth my time, blacksmith Thomas. Listen. Surviving in pirate wars demands you swim with sharks. Yuck. If that chills your blood, it does. I'd love to your backwater pond. I'd love that idea. The extra crash has left us short on supplies. The company knows this, so they're squeezing us tighter. Bring me supplies and I'll build you weapons to skewer those frogs. There's a frog problem? Before you could take a boy out of the company, you need to have teeth. Okay. Right now, you're toothless. Darn. You need provisions. You have to get them yourself. Now, get cracking, mate. <coughs> My goodness, excuse me. Almost died. Ding. Okay, I don't really know. Rather Bristol rain than this infernally. When it says 500, is that telling me that it's going to take 500 space? Oh, it wants us to craft a culverin and Cannonballs, which require metal salvage. Ooh, there's gonna be some grind on that, huh? Yeah, hold on. Craft new items. Top deck auxiliary ba bow armor. Look at all these armors. Oh my goodness. Requires kingpin. Requires Cosair. But these are infamy ranks. 1200, 1120. Are these different? 30, 30, 20. Oh, it's the. I the grog long ago. The toxic resistant. Venomous vengeance. To the past. Interesting. Man, this is like. Like a little mutt, huh? Contains 100 cannonballs. 
You need two metal salvage. We're going to craft two of them. It's 200 cannibal shots. And the only thing we can craft is it wants us to craft three of these. I don't really want to craft three of these. See there on the bottom left, that tiny little diagram? I think this is actually putting these things down. Gun port two. These furry cannons, they'll pierce through those dainty company hulls. Okay. Rope locker acquired. What is that? Rope lock. <laughs> okay, it holds the ropes. Got it. Who knew? Contracts. First blood. A feed their aggressive expanse. Sink company ships. Accepted. So, you got your deck scrubbed. Cannons swapped and your loins girded. I don't know Good. about that. It's time you rumbled with the company ships. Okay. The cocky pricks keep helping themselves to my iron. Blast them to bits. We'll try. Arm your ships with new weapons. Equip your ship with weapons equipments at the dock. Can we do it somewhere else? How fair is your day, pirate? Okay. Even the sea would have give you a wave. Welcome, Capitaine. Am I to drill into that thick skull of yours? I hope have not. You brought raw wood for me. And Maybe. by that, I mean ironwood, acacia, juniper. Any logs you can find. Asia. <laughs> no pirate in this port can survive without my trade. What do you do? These hands can turn any natural resource into something useful. I refine most raw materials, turn them into fine goods. Oh, nice. Planks, cloth, ingots, you name it, and Vera will make it. Akia planks. I don't know what she's going to do with them. So she will take. Could have built myself an entire fleet of ships with the planks I've made. So she will take the raw material of Akia. It'll take her five strips of Akia to make one Akia plank. And cost 20 monies. Wow. Dark leather, refined hides. It's a one-to-one -one trade here, but it's very expensive. 100 silver. Completed. Then we claim them. Fare you well, Capitaine. Curious. 
Okay, we need to arm our ship with cannons and start blasting. Right now. Think we could use more repair kits, Captain. You can access your ship menu from anywhere in the den. Use the managed ship to customize. Don't forget to equip your cannons. Okay, so how do we manage the ship from anywhere in the den? Ready to head back to sea, Captain? Oh, it's our ship. Manage ship. Wait, hold on. Change ship. I want to repair this ship if we can. Right. Repair. Ship is at full out. There we go. Change ship. So we're in a hunter ship and we're going to be from the down to the Badar. You can see hull bottom left there. Speed about doubles. Cargo doubles. Hull health more than doubles. So this should actually be a pretty significant upgrade. All right. Manage ship. It has no armor, no furniture. We've got cosmetics, though. It literally first line. Do not forget the customized look of your ship. Okay. Last line. The only effect you or your ship's appearance do not affect gameplay. Okay. You cannot afford this. <laughs> She's got a gun. <laughs> ah! Is that so scary? You got to visit the store for those we're just not doing right now. We're low on repair kits. Let's not push our oh, but we can at least get everyone like dressed up. Right, this one's kind of cool. Children of the Dragon one. They've got little shark pins on them. Captain Alico. Oh my goodness. Clumsy Fennel. Blinded in battle. Ha! More like Kiwi juice in his eye. Oh my goodness. Warning, watch out, you've riled up the fort. I didn't do it. Oh, look at this stuff. The last laugh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is what you need. You need to just noob just just noob stomp someone and then spam this. We're gonna have to see if we can get that. Oh, and that was cool too. Arr. <laughs> what is this? Cross swords. Your intentions are benign, really. Man, they love big words, don't they? Could have just said friendly. Well, benign's a little more than friendly, right? It means like harmless. So. Hey, you set sail or not? We actually do not have. Why is there still a thing here? I was really trying to get rid of. We're going to ignore weapons. On the bow, we're going to put down the bombard. I think we could use more repair kits, Captain. Boom. And on the port, which apparently is the left, we will put down one of these. And on the front, we are on the right, which is the starboard. We'll put one of these. armor ensure you have sufficient ammo food repairs and restoration kits before sailing 
Okay, manage cargo, empty. Over to the warehouse side. Where did our ammo go? Oh, there it is. I'm looking right at it. Well, I'll just do like, uh, I guess 200. Okay, so we have, hold on, manage ship. This is getting tricky. Furniture. If we put this furniture on, though, do we lose it? So this is the rope locker. Increases acceleration by 300% when trim is active. 5% of stamina is instantly consumed to trigger this effect. We can undo it. Okay, so it's like a passive perk. Let's see if we can really quick run back and get some armor. As why would we be sailing without armor? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Was it the blacksmith who has the armor? I'll build you a fine Craft weapon. new items. Careful not to blow your foot off. Armor. You do not own the blueprint. Buy and sell. A glowing ember is easier to rekindle. 17 and zeros. Oh, are we going to see more explosive damage or piercing? Okay, can we craft that though? It's like we can. Okay, let's see. We have 1,400 of the stuff here. Let's just try and grab the blueprints here. We buy them all. Owned, 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 owned. I could use a drink. Owned, owned. Not buy. All right. Go in and mud. then we'll go to our managed ship armor, and we have one hole. Oh, you can actually see it. Look at that. Uh, we can't. So there is the no armor. Okay. And there's the armor. See the scales on it? That's cool. Edit name. Boat one. <laughs> yep, that's boat one. Okay. I wish this could be sorted by like. Bottom right, it shows the number three. I wonder what that means. I click change ships. Oh, it's now three. So it started at one. Now it went up to three based on what we put on it. Interesting. Not sure one of two.
Okay, we are going to disembark. That sail. Wow, we have a whole crew all of a sudden. Look at this. We're getting in so much trouble. Captain, grab your spyglass so we can identify those French leeches. This is us. Look, we've got cannons on the side. We have cannons on this side. Here's our ship armor. There's somebody actually up here in the crow's nest looking around. Very cool. We've got these bombards here, these these bombardiers, bombards here in the front. Where's the rope thing? I think there was a rope thing. I don't see the rope. That was rope furniture thing. But we do have a little perch right here for a pet. I bet this pet cosmetic makes more money than you'll pay for the game. Oh my goodness, this is dangerous. Well, and check this out. Here is our first mate who we started with, right? And now they get to, you know, get off their... They've been promoted. Where's our other dude at? <clears throat> Was this our other guy? Might actually be drinking on the job day one. I have to talk to him about that. Okay, our quest is destroying some ships. Well, that was short lived. Try again. Captain, grab your spyglass so we can identify those French leeches. Okay, this takes a lot longer to. Put our sail up and down. Oh, that's interesting. So there's a like a quarter sail, half sail, a full sail, and then a sprint. Okay, so we need to... It is such a clunky interface. So, this is us. Just bouncing along here in our ship. We can have some real speed. Is, uh, is that a ship? How do we shoot them? 
We don't have any any ammo for this weapon we have here on the front. We have no ammo for this weapon on the front. So this is just a merchant. I don't know how to switch our weapon. Hold right bumper to brace. We are genuinely a terrible shot. Get closer. We're getting closer. Let us show them who's boss. What do we get for boarding? Boarding complete bonus loot. We're gonna repair our ship and then turn right. There was a 10 second cooldown on that repair kit. Interesting. That was unexpected. All right. So on the other side of these rocks should be our quest objective here. Which is to sink two gatherers. That is a gatherer. I think we're going to ram them. Here we go. So that is some other ship, I guess. Or I think stole our stuff. That kind of sucks. Or they stole our kill. I'm not sure exactly how to interpret that. Yeah, that counted as that did not count as our kill. Completely robbed. We're going to ram these guys as well. We're not taking a great angle, but... Here we go. I can't see anything.
Now, how are we doing on infamy, though, before we go back? We need like 700 more. Looks like there's at least two more of these. Hopefully we can figure out how to... Hopefully we can figure out how to, like, get our infamy score up without... Like, they get back there again with one infamy level up or whatever. And I'm hoping we can board these guys just for the extra loot. This is a much better angle for us here. Why could we not board them? What decides if we can actually, like, grab them or not? Like, with our hooks? Like, I'm pretty confident they're one hit from dead, but... Yeah, see? Okay, it only went up by 50 when we did that. That's actually going to be really tough then to get that infamy score up. If we're only going up by 50 each, like a uh, little dude we hit. And we need 600 to the next rank. Wow. That is quite a lot. Oh, like a shark, nice. really happy with that angle we were able to take there but only 50 points is just rough I mean this is going to take forever to get what is it we need to get to 2200 and this is we're at 1600 
What is this glowing thing here? Oh, coconuts. We're harvesting coconuts. Look at us go. Stuck on something here. Can we hunt shark with cannonballs? Not very well. It's a little dark here at night. Oh, look what we found. A company fishing boat, you say? We're coming in at full speed here. We're going to turn hard here. This is a hard turn left. And uh, we're sprinting again. We're going to regen some stamina. Ramming. Cannons. Plus 50. There we go. How are we doing on space? How do we figure that out? Okay, we open this up. Cargo. Looks like we can hold 20,000 and we have 7,000, so that's probably okay. I think we should come back with more Accio wood, though. I think we're going to be in some trouble if we don't come back with more. Let's go here if we can. Once, just to make sure we have that port. Because we can always go and, uh, and blast these dudes. I still kind of can't believe, like, how tough it's going to be to get to Infamy, the next Infamy. Like, 50 a pop? I mean, that is quite a lot. Especially, like, we saw some dudes who are level 12. And I can't imagine... We're going the wrong way. A little bit. I can't imagine that the... Call for help. What is that? Cancel. Canceling. Region entered. Bloody channel. So we tried to dock here before in our baby boat and uh, not let us. But we're too small. How about now? Interact. So it did say plunder. Buy and sell. Things we can buy. We're going to buy one wood tar. We're going to buy everything, I guess. And then... Um, and then try and take it from them, I guess. Can we rob them after this? Yeah, we're out of money. And now we plunder them. Because we're pirates. Plunder starts. I don't know what that means. Do we hit him? We're healing our ship right now. And I can see in the top that there's something going on here. I'm assuming we're plundering. But we just bought, we didn't have any cannibals for this gun. We traded with them for these cannibals.
We're getting the seal closer, I guess. I just can't tell like how we're missing them. Are we overshooting or undershooting? I feel like we're just barely undershooting them. We'll get a little closer. It says kill all enemies. Is this not the enemy ship? Are they not going down? Hit me. Oh, look at these guys. Okay, so it looks like there's a treasure chest at the top of the screen for plundering this place. Yeah, we need to go over there and grab it. And each time we defeat the enemies they send out, I think we get more treasure. Okay, this is kind of cool. Uh, we're just gonna ram them here if we can. Here we go. I cannot see anything. Kill all enemies. Okay, so we got a little tougher here. We're going to ram this guy again. Here we go. Okay, so far so good. I'm a little focused here. How do we do the crew boarding thing? We're gonna go board this guy if we can here on the right. I'm not sure why we couldn't board them there. There we go. So we need to be zoomed in on it. This is getting this extra loot. It's just a little, um, little cutscene. We're going to ram these guys here if we can. Ramming. Here we go. Okay, so we have to be zoomed in the board. That's fine. We missed. Okay, so it's actually not just a... Uh, we've got to be a little bit closer than that. Okay.
hard turn here. Whipping to the right. Okay, sails down. Sails down. We're not going to miss this throw here. Or they're going to die when they rammed us. All right, so in the top of the screen looks like that's three of four. Four of four, looting all. We'll be drowning in silver by night then! They see one such looks off their waters. Kiss me ass, four of us, we're on the golden shore. Plunder completed. What did this do for us? It says three plus co-op. Possible loot. Okay, a basic relic. So can we trade here again or is it on cooldown, you think? Sails down. It is kind of smoking on a little bit of fire. I think the way I'm going to interpret that is there is this. Like those two little tent icons and then like a half a half circle. I bet once that finishes loading, I bet it will. Oh, look at that. We made it to the next infamy way. Nice. You got anything fancy? A relic? It could be sold for a decent silver. OK, the dude wanted us to come back to him. Where was the dude? OK, straight into the right. Sail down. We are actually sprinting. The sprint sailing for the ship. All right, there we go. We've marked our location. Oh, we're into a, a wind. OK, so like the little first mate was saying something about the wind, but I wasn't sure what. That's why we were so slow there. Interesting. You see the wind we're sailing into here is like really slowing us down. Huh. Kind of a fun mechanic. Except it totally sucks. So we're sprinting now. Seems to do almost no good, but we're through. Weapons disabled, entering safe zone. Disembark closer to shore. Well, I hope this blacksmith guy is going to be happy that we... Uh, we shot the dudes they wanted us to shoot. He's like, go kill two ships, and we killed, like, I don't know, ten. You show metal, young knight. I really wish the hecklers would have kept heckling me, though. Job board, new bounty board. Oh, a bunch of stuff opened up. We have something in our mailbox. Checking mail, retrieving mail. What is this about? OK, we sent it all to our warehouse. You bringing me good business going into our warehouse. How do we do this? There it is. Rover chest, a chest gifted by your unknown sponsor. So we got to the infamy rank of Rover. We're going to open it up. It has a crowbar, pickaxe, sickle, and saw blueprint. Have you seen my pen? We have not seen your green pen. We're going to transfer these items, I guess. Not 
really sure if we should be. Your goods. And the other question I'm not sure about is commodity trader. We'll talk to them. Sure, why not? I've heard enough about you to know you'll do a decent job faring with. Probably not. What say you work for Tatamu? My connections in your ship will net us more coin than there are fish in the sea. Wow. Why should I trust your connections? Because Tatamu is a name even Skurlock trusts. My reputation speaks for itself. I've never heard of you. If you are willing, then heed my advice. Buy wares from me and sell them elsewhere for a profit. As long as I get a cut, we have a deal. Huh. Leave the information and contact details to me. Available contracts, supply and demand. Deal commodities to feed Tatamo's business. We're going to accept that. The basis of every good trade is to buy low and sell high. Okay, hopefully it's not timed. And buy and sell. So we can sell her these things. There's a red arrow pointing down. So let's not do that. And we can buy these things. There's a red arrow pointing down. So she sells these clothing for 102 and she'll buy them from us for four. Is that how I read that? So we have one, three, two, five. Is wrong in every sense. He will buy that for 102 and this one sell. Click select. He'll buy it for 53. I'm not really sure how to read these red arrows. Does this mean this is a bad deal? Or does this mean it's not a bad deal yet? Time spent talking is money lost. All right, we need to talk to the blacksmith. Are we going the right way? Yes, up here and to the left. And for the cooking, should we be cooking all of our food or not? Like these are grilled coconuts. Should we be not grilling them? Like, are they a base ingredient for something? I don't know, like I think the food thing is gonna get a little too complex for us. I hope it's not super important for endgame. But I bet it is. If metal work is what you need, my anvil's ready. We're gonna accept the next blacksmith quest and then turn in this other one. The French need to know that those resources are ours. Why do we not like the French in this moment in time in history? I kind of lose track of like what's been going on. And we're going to turn in our, our contract first blood to Den of Pirates. Those frogs barely put up a fight, eh? You did good, mate. Tales of your victory grow taller with every talent. Now you've impressed the other parts in St. Anne. They're looking to deal with you. Okay. I've also got more jobs if you're up to it. That's nice. So we did get 200 infamy points for completing this quest, which is really important. And he has another contract. This looks next like. job will be brutal, but pull through and even Skurlock shall hear of it. See, Kompany warships carry rare parts that I would pay well for. Sing the ships and the sea will swallow those parts. You'll need to board the ships. Okay, so that's like really important there. In order to get that rare material, you have to board the ships. All right. How fair is your day, pirate? Available contract, another one. I don't know if we keep. Remember, we are we just canceling our contracts each time we accept one? I'll build you a fine weapon. Okay, buy Careful and sell. Off. Already owned. Already owned. Requires free booter. We're gonna wait. We'll just get it, it's fine. Far as free booter. Now if we go to craft new items, can we upgrade these at a discount? Too welcoming, if you ask me. Like, is that an too option at all? We don't own the blueprints to craft ammo for our our mortar. 
That's yeah, good to know. I was trying to figure out Don't what um. Drowning in a mud puddle. Okay, to the the ship right. Ten. If Skerlock vouches for you, then we can. Buy and sell. Right, R three. I don't want to see everything. I only want to see ship equipment, treasure maps. He's got paint blueprints. We already own. Okay, craft new items. So if we want to craft this, we do not own blueprints. Oh, found in the Red Isles. Okay, there we go. Purchasable from the Faro Warrior in the Sacred Tree. Okay, and this one, this will be given out as a contract reward. Okay. Hurry before your ship sails away. All right, where are the Red Isles? I'm just reading the map. I don't see it. A lot of a lot of islands here. But I don't see anything that actually says. What is this? Wait, are we in the Red Isles? We're in the Red Isles. <laughs> okay, okay, so on the top left here, it says Coast of Africa. I was just a level zoomed in too far. If we zoom out far enough, these are the Red Isles. Okay. What is this? What is this icon? That's my ship. Okay. That's one contract. Is that all my contracts? What is this red icon though? How do we do this? Oh, nope. no. No. Okay, that's the red and blue icons. Also, no. How do we get to quests? I really don't know how to get back to the quest that those people might have given us. Optional. Acquire Culverin. What's a Culverin? Okay. No. Map. Social. Find group. Journal. Okay, there it is. You open the map. Then you open the journal. These menus are just not intuitive. Miscellaneous. Okay, let's go to the tool person then, the carpenter or whatever. Is this who makes the tools? I forget. I will improve your ship. Tell me what you need. Buy and sell. Rope locker, we already own. Okay, I get it now. So this furniture are passive buffs. People are free in Saint Anne. So this will let us build the repair kit. We're going to buy that. Now we can craft repair kit one. Bombard grinder. Okay, so this will make our bombard projectile speed 15% faster. Increases projectile speed of long guns. Increases maximum range of demi cannons. We already own the rope blocker. And these require a higher infamy. What if we wanted to craft something here? What do we need to craft the crowbar? Okay, we have the materials for the crowbar. I think we have a crowbar now. 
And we're going to go ahead and craft the hunting spear. So we have that. And we're going to upgrade our tools from pickaxe one to pickaxe two. From saw one to saw two. From sickle one to sickle two. It's just supposed to increase our harvesting. And everything else requires us to be considered a freebooter in rank. So we can make seven repair kits. Maybe we should. How do we do this? Buy and sell. Buy. We're out of silver now. Okay. This is kind of a lot of like systems for like. For the most part, you're just like in your boat sailing around collecting stuff, but like. There's like kind of a surprisingly large number of systems, like just kind of like an intimidating amount. Like things like this will like bother me to no end. The first aid station increases the repair amount of repair weapons by 30% for ships that currently have less than 33% whole health. And then this is where it gets even trickier. I am always here. I, I don't know what the answer is here. If we go into the knowledge and go into the tutorial and go into combat and go into whole health. Mac. Okay, so this is whole health, but isn't there a health bar for our flag? Why don't I think there was? See, torn sails can cause a ship to be slowed down. Makes me wonder if there's a health bar for the. BP, do you need more from me? Makes me wonder if there's a health bar for the sales. So, like this stuff will irk me. Would it be better to reduce damage taken by fifteen percent and increase threat generation by hundred percent while anchored, or increase duration of flooded and fire effects applied to enemy ships by hundred percent but reduce damage dealt? From these effects by 30%. Like, these are kind of really hyper specific. And we aren't ranked at Cutthroat or Kingpin or whatever. My sister was strong and Murembo. How about this I one? Miss her. Recover 1% of whole health every second when whole health is less than 20%. I feel like that's either like underwhelming or overwhelming. And I, I could not tell you which is which like these all seem like things you're going to have to like actually buy and try a couple of times to even know the answer. But like all you do is you see you see a sailing around on the boat, right? But there's like. OK, did anyone else have a mission for me while we're here? Talk to this guy. Let's talk to the refinery. Talk. But it's it's not immediately clear now while sailors drown in rum. What have you been up to? It's not immediately clear at all just how. Just like what goes into selling that boat. And the other thing is like it is costing money and time to refine this. I cost almost all of our money to change this into a good a good we can use. I bet this gets really grindy as we're at the beginning and we have spent a shocking amount of time just trying to understand these systems. I don't know how to like, I don't know how to take our stuff back once we do it. Oh, there we go. I bet our warehouse can run out of space. Oh, I bet it does. There's no good reason for that. I've got work to do. Hold on.
Try not to get too lost here. Let's grab the bounty board and the job board if we're here. We're just going to grab these contracts, even if we aren't tracking them right now. And hopefully they aren't timed. I don't know when we're actually going to do these. But this one's like kill merchants, steal 15 paintings. OK, like that's the whole point of sailing our boat. Shoot stuff. This one smuggle supplies. Don't want to do that. This one supply coconuts and smuggle jute. Not interested in smuggling. Bounty board. Mm, we're going to go for it. The Fang of Farah hunt down the whoever and collect the bounty. Uh, they are beyond us as, as a five and we are a three or whatever. How much space does our warehouse have, though? This makes me very uncomfortable. Back, I'll have to read your story. So it looks like our warehouse has unlimited space, but not unlimited slot. Those slots are probably going to end up being the bigger issue. Why does this have an icon on it? And the other question in my head is if we don't have these commodities on our person when we are in the places, is that problematic? Do we need to make sure we have them on us so that we can Do we need to have the if, if we go to a port to sell something, do we need to have like we have six rum in our warehouse? Do we need to have the rum on our ship to be able to trade it? Come back anytime. Open this up. Manage ship furniture. We have a second thing we can put on, which is the ironclad station. There it is which increases damage for ramming by 20%. We have more cosmetics unlocked. What did we possibly unlock? We unlock the nefarious. There it is. Repair 17 monies. It was that full health. What was the other thing we should? What is this? Greatest tail spinner of our time. Bribe. The companion want his head. We lost the opportunity to bribe him. Then no, no, speak up a little louder. We do it again. That was a timed interaction. We just didn't click you bribe. Coming back for storage needs. Home again. Well, that was weird. Anything we missed here? You're growing shark teeth, Skipper. There we go. For provisions, Mako Lacey's the name. What just happened? I thought it was a quest. For Mako Lacey, stock up on repair kits. Okay, so she sells ammo, some food, blueprints for food. Repair kit. What does it cost? 100. It only afford one. Cannibals and bombard. I can buy two of these. And... That smell, me or you? Probably you. Probably you. That's we spend every single Come to Mako Lacey. money that we have. Okay, how do we see our quests? Map, journal. Okay, so we picked up a bunch of quests. Oh, they are timed. Look at that. 
These ones are timed. These ones are not. They're not all timed, though. So the miscellaneous glass here, not timed. Okay. The side quest here, this bounty is not timed. This one is timed, this one is timed, this one... This one is not timed. I think the difference is the two here that are not timed, I think NPCs gave us. The three here that are timed, I think, were... from the board. But there's actually... Oh, we did it again. There actually is a main quest. I did not understand that at all. And it's the quest for tracking. And it says in very faint letters, actually like super hard to read, boarding warships offers a chance to loot weapons. So apparently you do need to try and be boarding ships. Okay, and these are four. Is that telling me that this is beyond me because of my character level or because of my ship level? Because this is this is a five, and it awards five thousand monies and three hundred infamy. They all do around three hundred infamy, but this one's only nine hundred money, right? Like five thousand is pretty much a lot better. But if we go to our captain, our captain is our ship is ranked three. Our captain is ranked rover. I wish we could see. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, my goodness. That is insane. Is it endless? It's got to stop, right? There can't just be endless kingpin ranks. I thought we would go to like kingpin 10 and then unlock like emperor of the seas or something. I don't know. It just goes the kingpin and then endless numbers. It's got to stop, right? We're in the 500s here. Oh, we're going to find out. If you thought that I wasn't, we're in the 600s. We are. When does the kingpin rank stop? Eight hundreds. Nine hundreds. Kingpin one thousand would be ooh, fourteen million eight hundred thousand in the infamy. We're just going to stop. We don't need this. It goes to a thousand. So you start out as an outcast, scoundrel, rover, which is where we are, freebooter, buccaneer, brigand, marauder, corsair, cutthroat, kingpin. So how many was that total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
So Kingpin is the 10th infamy up from the beginning. And it requires a total of 40,000 infamy. And we are at 2,000. So we have 38,000 more to go. It says rank 3, but I think that's really our ship. Those are two different things. Okay. I think I understand that. I think I understand it enough to, like... not do a bad thing so we need to get over here and blow some ships up that is the the objective but i guess i guess our biggest handicap is going to be a couple of things Let's talk about that for a second mm. oh no let's back up here things to talk about you can see where is it there it is. Top left, we're currently in the free trial. I don't know if this is a forever thing, but there is a free trial that we can do eight hours of gameplay. We're coming up on four hours in here. And this is the game. I want to be clear. If you think it gets different from here on out, it does not. This is the game. You come to this little location here. You pick up the quest and you go out and you sink the ships. That's it. There's nothing more to it than that. If you thought this quest line was going to get super impressive, it is not. The, the quest line is quest light. It is not a main mechanic, and it's looking like it's going to be incredibly grindy to unlock all of these like in-depth ship systems. You know, even just looking at the blacksmith, ignoring all the other crafting stations, if metal work is what you need, and if we just look at one, just just the type of ammunition. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ammu. Did I count that right? Four. Yeah, seven different ammunitions that we can see. There's at least seven different guns, and then there's four different types of guns. And just looking at cannons, one, two, three, four, five of this this one one, you know, four, five, six, seven of the second one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five of this third one. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, you can say to me, all right, Vlad, but like, what does that mean? Okay, you don't have to unlock them all, but you know there's going to be best ones, and you know there's going to be missions or ships that'll need you to have the end game cannons unlocked. And these are just one type of weapon. Here's a top deck weapon, right? And here's a mortar weapon, and here's a, a bow weapon, like a harpoon. And then there's all the armors. And you know, you know you're going to have to get these armors. And this is just one of these systems. Because the ships are different too. As are the expensive crafting items. As are the different food items you're going to need to be having to use. Like, I think there's like a lot of like really tricky systems here. But this, this is the game. And I think it probably only gets incredibly more grindy. I don't think sailing is going to get more engaging. Having a, a, a newer, cooler ship will be fun. But at some point, like, you're going to have all the ships. I don't think that this is a bad game. It seems to be functioning. I also think that if I came into this with the expectation that it was going to have a really compelling quest line, I'm going to be disappointed. If I came into this with the expectation of the combat's going to be super, super engaging. You've seen the combat. It's not going to get more engaging. Now you can say to me, but that you're going to get new cannons and bigger ships. You're right. But the fundamental, this is how the ship turns. This is how the ship feels. This is how you shoot a cannon. This is what it looks like on impact. It's all the same from here. I know there's some kind of like sea monsters you can try and do. They're just like the sharks we killed, just bigger and faster and hit you harder. They're not like. They're not going to blow your mind. Um, we haven't seen everything the game has to offer. I've done some amount of research before this episode, looking at what some other folks have done in, in the hours they played. I want to highlight that this is this is the game. This is it. I haven't really decided if it makes sense to. Move beyond the. There it is, the free trial. Um, I personally enjoy this, but I'm not sure it's a game that really makes sense to stream. I haven't really figured out what that means just yet, but I do know that 
Some things are just more engaging than others. And comparing this to like the last the thing we streamed yesterday was Helldivers 2, where the whole time you're running, you're shooting, you're jumping, you're spawning in weapons. Like it's a lot of action. Like it's pretty, pretty in depth. If you looked at today's stream, a lot of time was spent in like menus. A lot of time is spent in turning the ship. A lot of time is spent just sailing from point A to point B with nothing going on. And I'm not sure that makes for like a super engaging stream. But again, I haven't completely decided that. I'm also not sure how important this this menu here is. This chat and the other players, we haven't done any PVP. I don't have a lot of info on that, but this doesn't feel like a cash grab, but it does feel like I'm trying to be milked for cash. I do think that this free trial is very generous. Um, but we're going to go into the shop while we're here before we, we close out today's episode. If I can, I don't know if it's going to pull this up. So packs of items have rotation periods. After the period ends, these items will be unavailable and might come back at a later date. So don't miss out. Literally said, don't miss out. What's that? That's called FOMO. That's called high pressure sales, where buy now or it's gone forever. It makes you very uncomfortable, right? In addition, there's some seasonal items, which are cool. Don't get me wrong. I mean, this thing looks cool. How do we check this out? Details. Well, you have these purple sails. You've got the Hydra pattern here. All right, there it is. Look at that. Looks very cool. Here is the, the front of the ship. These are strictly cosmetic. Remember that. It's not going to make your ship hit harder. And then if you want a purple ship, you're going to have to buy this color packet. I think it's cool, though. I'm not denying that for even a second. We'll look at the other one here. It's on discount. Ooh, for 3,600 of the monies. Let's see here. You get a silk headband. You get all kinds of fancy gear. What else is going on here? Ooh, this is different facial hair. Can you tell? There it is. It's different, right? Oh, we could do this. Just guess what it is now. Nah. So if you want these calico colors, if you want the laughing skulls here, there they are. Very classic. You want the flowers? Oh, no. What are these? Calico trim. They are. What else? If you want the uh, the lady with the gun, very scary. She's got the gun. Colors. Flowers on the side. Very lovely. The the flowered wrapped boundless. Flower this. What is this? The flower that. You want this little fancy cat, Captain Calico? Who doesn't want that? You want the Joy to Free and the Pirate Curse. So let's see. It's on discount for three thousand six hundred. Let's take a guess what this costs. I'm going to guess this is 20 US dollars. Let's go check. Please wait. That please wait makes me think there's a regional pricing. OK, so if you wanted, if you needed 3,600 of the box of gold, you would need to spend. 40 US dollars, this is a seasonal pack, so we can't assume it's going to be here. But right now, if you wanted to have this item on discount for 3,600 of the fancy golden coins, it is 40 US dollars. That is so much money. Smuggler's Pass, what do you get? There's two different versions. Interesting. So here's a premium pass. You're going to get. I just wanted to look at them. You're going to get these sales, okay? You're going to get the Children of the Dragon crew skin. You're going to get the. Oh, and that's it. Right. I'm confused. Maybe it's not. What is this? It says unlock. Access to premium reward tail tiers. I guess you just get. These two premium pass bundle sales, children of the dragon, smuggler points. What are these? Smuggler points advance. I feel like if we got the game, we'd have to do this to figure out what this is at least once. Like, what is this? 
Access to the smuggler's pass will unlock. So there's a quest. Use smuggler marks to advance and claim. I'm guessing 2,500. What is that in currency? Okay, so if you want to get the premium pass bundle, which let's assume that has the best rewards, 2,500 of the gold monies. What is that? That is... Right now it says 25 US dollars. That is so much money. 25 US dollars every 90 days. Oops, there it is. Assuming these are 90 day things. So the cost of playing would then be $100 a year. And it is a $100 game. So it's $200 up front. That's crazy. So you can buy these individually, huh? Okay, these ones on the right are on. Are, are featured, they're gone in five days. Wow. Seasonal, Smuggler's Pass. So the featured things just rotate through. So if we want, can we check out what this looks like? Okay, but these can be bought for silver. Or for 500. So we could definitely buy this right now. They gave us 500 gold. Or if we'd saved up the silver, we could get this. Can you buy everything with silver? No. None of this stuff I'm looking at can be bought with silver. Just that first one. What about the very last one here? So, the only thing in here you can buy with the silver currency we've been getting in-game is on the left here, this limited time bundle of these colors. This sale thing these colors and this little i the thing and then the gorgon's gaze sale thing as well those can be bought with silver it doesn't have to be premium currency but what is 500 in us dollars again right five us dollars to 500 interesting so to be clear here where were we on this there's a free trial. I think that's really a good thing. It probably helps with buyer's regret or buyer's remorse. But this seems like a very expensive thing to be a part of. As it's $100 up front, I think it's technically 90, but after tax, it's basically $100, right? It's like 96 or whatever. Anyhow, it's $100 up front and then $25 every 90 days to stay current with whatever the rewards are hidden away in there. That's expensive. And I don't think you're getting a bad deal if you enjoy this. But this definitely feels like uh, I'm going to very like very lovingly call this a dad game. And what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is. Um, let's say you have one hour. Every day you can carve out to play a game. Okay, everyone's in bed. Like uh, you've got work the next day, but you've got an hour to yourself. You're gonna play whatever game you want. Uh, this isn't a bad game to pick. If you if you just want to load in, sail your ship, you know, have a fun drink, and uh, you know, just shoot some other ships and, and go to bed and, and start your next day. Like this is a chill game for that. I feel like there's not gonna be like any like. You know, because there's so much PvE, right? Player versus environment, and it's not PvP, player versus player. And it's just kind of chill when it's PvE, because it's just you versus the environment, which is a lot more relaxed than player versus player, which can get really sweaty really fast. And by sweaty, I mean you're going to run into someone who's really committed to making sure they beat you, and it's not always fun to lose, right? So, I... I kind of feel like this is kind of just a dad game. It doesn't mean that it can't be a mom game or you have to be a parent to play. Don't interpret it that way. I more so mean that I can't imagine that this is appealing to anyone under the age of 20 or 25 in comparison to other pirate games, specifically the Sea of Thieves. I have one stream on Sea of Thieves. I just about vomited and I cannot make it through a second. I was not prepared for the motion sickness, but like, Sea of Thieves is a lot more engaging, and I bet that really appeals to a different player base entirely. Because the core mechanics of Sea of Thieves are completely separate from 
Skull and Bones. I've seen a lot of reviews really trash this game. And most of them seem to trash the game with my limited understanding because it's not meeting their expectations. I've come into this with basically no expectations. Um, and I haven't been disappointed, which it's almost a superpower to be able to do that, I'll, I'll admit. But as far as the game goes, it functions. There's nothing here that, that we've, we've it's not crashed. I don't I don't feel like we've encountered a single grain breaking bug. I think games don't need to be perfect. I think games need to be good at what they do. And what this game does is gives you an opportunity to sail the ship and shoot things. And that's about it. And if you were hoping for a more immersive sailing adventure, it's not this. If you're hoping for a more engaging quest line with incredibly memorable characters and uh, a, a, a story that's been crafted to be memorable and emotionally engaging, it, it's it's not this. If you were hoping to need to like min max your character and really dress them up. It's not this as there is absolutely nothing the character can do uh, other than walk around to the vendors. And based on what I've seen from the developers, they're not intending to change these mechanics. These are the core gameplay mechanics. This isn't like going to get patched later or changed. No, th th this is the game. Um, and I don't even feel like it's been overhyped or oversold, to be clear. I don't feel like I saw any marketing for this that was disingenuous to the experience. Um, things I would like to see. I think it's too grindy and we haven't even grinded. We haven't even touched like a real grindy system. I think it's just a little too grindy and I think it's a little overwhelming to look at some of these end game systems. I think it should be simplified a little bit. I'm not 100% sure what you do once you've unlocked everything. Like, what do you do after that? It's, it's an issue we have with Grand Theft Auto Online. If you follow the channel for a while, there's a playlist of a percentage of the time we've done Grand Theft Auto. You, there is a live streaming channel separate, but it's a whole that's a whole other thing. Point is, and Grand Theft Auto Online for GTA 5, depending on when you're watching this, once you've unlocked everything, the only thing you have to do is like buy more vehicles to like drive fast in and they're all kind of the same at that point it doesn't feel super great like there's not a big reason to keep going once you've unlocked everything i worry that like you'll pay the hundred dollars and then you will you'll want to be up to date with what all the fun new stuff is so you'll get the the 90 day pass or whatever so at the end of 12 months you'll be 200 dollars in minimum at the end of that, you might say, okay, but I got an hour, you know, I got five or 10 hours a week from it, you know, in a 52 week year, that's 500 hours. I'm happy for me personally. I do not equate quality of game with time spent. I, I don't look at that and go for every dollar I spend. I need an hour of, of game. I think that's backwards. Um, you know, that, that is, that doesn't make sense to me. Um, I think it, it matters a lot more how engaging in how much fun you had, which again, is one of those things that is kind of in the in the eye of the beholder. And for me, this is a lot of fun. I, I really enjoy just sailing around doing nothing, but I'm not sure I really like $100 enjoy it. And I'm not really sure that this is a live service game. And what that means is this game revolves around the player base continuing to spend money in the game to continue to develop the game and it makes me very uncomfortable when a game like this is a hundred dollars up front and then wants you to then continue to buy these seasonal premium passes and i got it you can say but dad you don't have to engage with any of those mechanics i i understand that concept however if i'm spending time in the game enjoying it I intend to engage with the mechanics that are there and there's no good reason for me to not engage with those mechanics. Like that's what they're there for. So if I want to, if I'm having fun and I want to keep having fun, I'm incentivized to engage with those mechanics, which is kind of a weird place to be as a player because there was a time you bought the game and you had the game and that was the game. But this being a live service game, there is a promise a, a moment of trust between the users and the developers, right? 
of, hey, please continue to spend money because we're intending to continue to release new things. Example, we have in our quest log right now, once I figure out how to find it, We have a quest right here, a bounty on the Fangs of Farah. At some point, we'll hypothetically collect all the bounties. And if they want to release new ones, they have to find a way to financially support themselves. No one's buying the game as a live service model. You have an opportunity in game for the players who are engaging with your game to continue to support the game so that you can make more of these bounties. I understand the concept. The problem is it's a trust thing. Do we really trust? Oh, look, the rash just ran by us. Nasty. Do we really trust that they should get some cats? They should get some cats. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> One lazy cat. It's a trust thing. Do we really trust that developers are going to continue to develop and release meaningful content? Yes or no? If the answer is no, then it's a huge mistake to engage with the live service game to begin with. If the answer is yes, then at your own risk and at your own folly. My other concern with this game being a live service game is, is live service games tend to be designed around lately, the past few years, around user entrapment, not user enjoyment. What I mean by that is I would get a lot more enjoyment from this game if the quest line was really good. And that would take a lot of time, money, and effort that does not necessarily sell a significantly, a statistically significant number of more copies or in, get more players in. It probably doesn't change a whole lot because it's just not a core gameplay mechanic. But I would enjoy this game and have a much easier time recommending if that's the case. But I kind of forgot what I was saying there, but it's a live service game. They might choose to spend a lot more time investing in like ship armor. Not a cosmetic, just like different armors for your ship. So when you're fighting, you know, maybe there's only 10 armors right now. They're going to add in 10 more that have different bonuses and then add in a new weapon that adds a different type of, we'll say, elemental damage. I'm making this up. My point is, all those mechanics, I don't really care about. So you're kind of rolling the dice here. Uh, okay, you, you kind of like the game, but even if you kind of like the game, the future direction of those updates for this live service you are paying into you're hoping that they're actually the things that you care about like i think it'd be fun to have more monsters to fight i think there's like one or two and i think it'd be cool to have bigger ship battles but there's nothing the developers have said or hinted at that that's the direction they want to go actually quite the opposite the studio that was in the news for supporting making and creating this game which was ubisoft in i think it was singapore I need, I need to double check the location. I know that the company Ubisoft has multiple currently uh, at the time of, of this stream has multiple studios in multiple places. But point is. The studio whose main project was publicly this title, if I'm not mistaken, I read a headline that says they're shutting down, which doesn't necessarily mean that that's a negative for the future of this game, but it does make me as as a player as a user as, as someone trying to engage with the product everything that people there said is it still true <laughs> you know if, if you've ever worked for for you've ever had a job where one day the boss you reported to and worked with one day they changed roles or left the company for whatever reason you have a new boss you work with and they're not the same and all of a sudden your job feels different and you were told before you could do a thing that now you can't do. And they're like, oh, it's always been policy. You can't do that. And that's not true. Point is. If all the people at the studio that made the game no longer work on this game and aren't a part of the company that owns this game and is directing this game, the things that they said were the plan, are they still the plan? I don't know uh, that that's beyond, you know, my responsibility to figure out. No, but it is something to be paying attention to when you're engaging with the live service game. This month, Dragon's Dogma 2 is coming out. Now, you might say to me that I everyone won't stop talking about it. Why are you bringing it up here? Well, it's not a live service game. When you buy that game, you own the game, or at least you own permission to play it, whatever. And that's the end. The game is the game. You're not engaging with that game because you're expecting new updates 
there's not some big seasonal battle pass as far as i know that's going to promise future development that's the game this is a live service game which means this is not the end product and what we have now is a finished product but it doesn't mean that this is the shape of things three months from now six months nine months 12 months and this is a pretty significant at least i consider it a significant um, monetary investment for a very uncertain future not because the game's broken or busted it's a finished product we've been able to engage with most of the mechanics here with no problem but because you just don't know where the future really lies. And ultimately, do we trust Ubisoft, who is the developer and publisher? Do we trust Ubisoft to be able to handle this property, this game successfully? I will say this. Ubisoft, as far as I know, has a very long track record of keeping their games alive. I feel like these Ubisoft games never die. Somehow the old ones continue to kind of stay relevant, whether they're on sale or there's some controversy or another game to compare them to. But I feel like Ubisoft actually has a shockingly large number of live service or pseudo live service games that are heavily monetized. And when I say heavily monetized for reference there, I mean, Ubisoft has, has kind of been the gold standard of how to increase lifetime customer value where somehow some way their games will just sneak in there with 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 putting a store in front of your face sometimes quite literally with things that are very enticing to the players and you know they're i'm getting off track their point is i have absolute faith that ubisoft has the experience skill and history to keep this game alive for a shockingly large amount of time and i am I have absolute faith that they are able to milk this for all the money they possibly can. Like, I have no doubt about those things. They have, a, from what I know, they've got a pretty good track record of keeping these games alive and getting money to keep coming from them, which means out of our pockets into theirs. However, that is kind of what these games need to keep being developed. So that's not a red flag or a bad thing. You know, I just... I, I've I, you can see on the channel, we have a, a full playthrough start to finish of Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And you could really tell with Valhalla that it had been designed a little bit too much around player entrapment instead of player enjoyment. I, I think there's one stream we ended up spending 30 minutes trying to stack rocks. I don't want to talk about that ever again. My point being. Ubisoft games tend to get really bloated over time. And they tend to paywall important things like all the best weapons in Assassin's Creed Valhalla were paywalled behind the DLCs and expansions and the top tier best in slot stuff required you to pay more to get into those items. Now, is that a bad thing or a good thing? I'm not here to decide that. I'm here to point out that I have a suspicion Skull and Bones a year, three years, five years from now is going to look so different that what I'm saying now I don't think it's going to be any less true, but it's going to be a very different conversation of what the game, if it's worth getting into or not. And kind of the last thing I'm going to add on here is. Oh, I forget the thought. Hold on. Something about Ubisoft. One thing Ubisoft does seem to do well, again, that's the developer and publisher, as they do create an experience that doesn't have a lot of competition. If you want to play in the time period that Assassin's Creed Valhalla takes place in, you are a Viking around the time that England is kind of coming into a world power. It's not quite there yet. It's still a little premature from them being the superpower. They're still kind of feudal lords running around with little armies on their island. But if you want to be a Viking in that time in history, it's one of the only games you can actually engage with that experience. There's very few other options to be a Viking and or be a Viking in that time of history. Another example, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. If you want to join, if you want to play a game that has the Greek aesthetic from that time period, the Peloponnesian War, there's lots of games that kind of take place in that, but there's very few where you actually get to like fighting battles that aren't like a medieval total war kind of a thing where you're just a general of an army, right? Like they do a really good job of setting you in a place in time that other games aren't really filling the market need for. Case in point, Skull and Bones. 
how many other pirate games are there? Okay. Sea of Thieves. There's one. What's the core loop of Sea of Thieves compared to the Skull of Bones? They are fundamentally completely different games appealing to such a separate audience that, yes, they are both pirate games, but it's the same. They're, they're different. They're so very different that they're not appealing. I think the overlap of the player bases there is going to be very, very small. So again, OK, what other pirate games are there? Um uh pirate games um ooh, is there another pirate game well there's sid Meier's pirates from you know decades ago that's a fun one yes yes it is anything else um well, there's assassin's creed black flag but hold on that's a single player game this is a multiplayer game that is a single player game focused on a narrative this is a live service game not focused on a narrative. Okay, that is a single player story driven game set in a very specific time in history that is completely different from this time in history in this multiplayer game that is not focused on a storyline. They are fundamentally, one second here, they're fundamentally different games in a major way. Black Flag's monetization, the, the the amount of money they can pull from each player, the lifetime customer value is very, very small. I can assure you the lifetime customer value here in Black Flag is very, very large. In which game is being focused, pushed, and developed? Well, it's the one that has the higher earning potential, which is this live service model, which, again... Uh, not to, to beat it. Oh, we'll come back to that another time, probably. My point is, Ubisoft does a really good job of picking an underserved market, pirate games, and then picking picking a, a gameplay loop that really isn't necessarily being done a lot in them, and then picking a set time in history that not a lot of not a lot of other games are spending a lot of time in, right? Example. Here's the map, and we are in... Here's off the coast of Africa, and here are the East Indies. So on a world map, up here would be China, and over here would be India, and over here would be uh, East... Would be West Asia, so this would be like the Middle East, and then coming down here, we'd be over here into the coast of Africa. I know it's not perfect, but I can't quite move the map marker any further. And then way down here on the right would be Australia. When do you get the sail of boat in these waters? What other game? I, I couldn't name it. Maybe there is one, right? A voyage century. <laughs> We've come full circle. But point is, Ubisoft does a great job of picking a time in history that is underserved, picking a genre that is underserved and filling that niche. This is the option right now, as far as I know. And as far as games that are currently still being developed, which is kind of a big deal. So I think there's a future for this game. And I also think it was deliberately put at such a ridiculously expensive price point. This is a $100 game. I got it. It's $90 plus the six. And you might say you have it at a different price. Maybe there's some regional pricing going on. When I opened up the shop, it said $90 plus tax. And where I live, that pushes it over $100. Point is, it's a $100 game. Why did they sell a $100 game? Because they wanted to make sure the people that bought this game had more money to spend. Because if you have... The extra money to spend $100, you have the extra money to spend $25 every 90 days, which is $100 in a year again. So I think I think the, the insane price was deliberate to try and attract a... Try and attract a player base that has money to spend here, because that is who they are catering to. They are not catering to the casual player. And I think that's important to remember. I don't know if we're going to do another stream on this, which is why I like, I think we still have a little bit of time left, probably around four hours, right? So we used up about half our time in, in the free time. I don't know if we're going to do more than two streams on this. I I'd like to, but I just don't know right now. Um, as we'll have to kind of see how this stream does, which 
isn't always how we make our decisions, but it'll be nice to see how this one does, which will probably take some time. And I don't know if like the free like this is what I didn't know, which is I was waiting out. This is free trial four hours. Is that in game time or if like I wait four hours and then tomorrow I open this up? Have I lost my four hours? I don't know that either, which is kind of nerve wracking. So I might try to load this up again and be out of the free trial and just be out of luck. And that is that. And I, I don't love that. I wish it would have been clear that it was eight in game hours. I'm assuming it is. It might not be, though. Point is, I don't know if we do another stream on this. I have a playlist set up four episodes. I'm hoping to be able to do at least one more with that remaining four hours. I don't know if we're going to be able to, and I don't know if this is going to be a big series. As always, open to comments on, on what people think is fun. YouTube comments are a great way to do that. Or in the community post, I generally I generally read through those as well. I don't have a lot of other thoughts on this, but I wanted to share them now in case we don't have an opportunity to do another stream. Usually these are things that like I kind of think about and throughout a series I will share bits and pieces of. But since this might be the only opportunity to do this without spending a significant amount of money that I don't really want to spend right now. In that case, it just seemed like an exposition dump was was the thing to do in this moment. Do me a favor. If you like this video, click like. YouTube channel members to support what I do. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video here. I'm Dad, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, bye for now.